everyone, it's me, X Kid, and it's this. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new dark related videos every single day, and today's video is extra special because not only is it a P.O. Box unboxing, which I have a public mailbox, anybody can send me anything they want, and I will open it on camera, and the information about that is always in my channel description, um, but I've saved all of these packages since whatever the last video was because today, well actually last night, I hit 50,000 subscribers on YouTube, so... I never thought that I would get to a thousand and then when I got there I thought 10,000 was unrealistic and I can't believe that we're at 50 and I just wanted to say thank you guys so so much so I wanted to have a special sit down and chat type video because that's the kind that I feel is like my signature is just sitting down and talking about dolls and stuff like that and the P.O. Box videos are one of the best ways to do that because people will leave notes that have like stories about their own personal collections and I think it's a really cool way to be able to connect with you guys so um I'm really excited about this I'm sorry I kept it a little bit secret I didn't I never want to announce what I'm doing like a special P.O. Box video because then I'm worried that people will feel like they have to send things which I never want to be the case I want people to like if they feel like sending something they can but otherwise there's no um pressure or anything like that um, anyway, there's a lot of things. First of all, I think this is the first time this has ever happened, but there's two sets of boxes that are like box one of one, box, or sorry, box one of four for these ones, and then box one of two for these ones, so I thought that was kind of funny. Um, so we're gonna save these ones for a little bit later since they're gonna be big ones. Um, and yes all right so now we are going to be opening this card and this one is from qb collectibles and if you don't know her she also has a youtube channel that she does and she does like really consistent toy hunting content that's super cool and she collects like a wide variety of stuff and if you've been watching my videos especially the recent ones she was the person who sent these brats dolls that she had found thrifting um for my christmas package so my princess chloe and uh, that was a restoration video that I did recently and she's super cool I got to meet her in person not too long ago and it was super fun and this card is from her so let's see um, I think I would start here so oh my gosh there's a Neopets thing <laughs> okay hi Brooke I finally found the rainbow high birthday cards and I had to send you one thank you oh my gosh okay wait rainbow high cards oh my gosh look Why aren't all birthday cards like this? Also, hello, Stella and Karma, which are my favorite two series two dolls. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, I didn't want to write in them so that you can use it however you want. Thank you. I also sent you some Webkin stickers and a Neopets postcard that I thought you would enjoy. Neopets is my jam. I'm actually setting up a Neopets display right now, so that is very... Oh my gosh. <laughs> um I will enjoy it thank you by the way are we officially we are officially coming to visit you we will be in Alabama from and then I'm not gonna say the dates just yeah I don't know I, that yeah but I'm so excited about that hopefully I'll be home for a part of that um yeah <laughs> thank you so so much I can't read the last part but um there are stickers there are really fun Lisa Frank stickers <laughs> oh my goodness thank you okay let's see our implements so we have some webkins stickers these are so funny i think i have a sealed well i don't have the full sealed box but i have a bunch of the sealed like blister packs from when i was a kid because my mom would be like if you do this you can get a pack of webkins cards but then at some point she stopped doing that and just kept the cards so i have a bunch of them actually um and i love the stickers i don't know i was always terrified to use the stickers uh, i've discussed this at length on my channel already but look so we have the I, I don't know this one like the love monkey i guess i would assume that's that one's name these are so cute these are so cute oh my gosh because there was a love frog with that same print and then we have I, i've never seen this before in my life but this is a neopets postcard it kind of looks like those little email greetings that they would um like they offer on their site but this is official it says neopets 2004 i love this so it has a mincy and <laughs> It's basically asking to be said. Is it Minchi or Min Mincy? I've never said it out loud, actually. Anyway. <laughs> um, thank you so, so much. I, I am actually like, I really want to put this on my wall. Right? <laughs> it's so cute. Thank you so, so much. I'm so glad you found it. Yeah, I searched at length, because there's actually another one. I think there's a Pacific Coast one, too. I have searched at length for that card. You just can't find it. I've never found a single one of these Rainbow High cards, and I've looked everywhere. I guess they just didn't ship them to Alabama. Or maybe there's another Rainbow High collector in Alabama, which I find unlikely. They don't sell very fast here. Um, I, I know there's Rainbow High collectors, but, you know, in my specific area, that's just snatching up all the cards. I have no idea. But anyway. <laughs> Okay, moving on. So this package I accidentally spoiled for myself because it was from 
like Mercari or something, I don't remember, but it looked like a package from Mercari that I had ordered and it was from the same state, so I opened it. But um, there is some context to this one. So this one was shipped to me by someone who sent me an email. Um, and I do already know who, what it is because it was in the email. And basically they had said, hey, I really want to buy you a Masquerade Madness Chelsea doll. Uh, do you have one? Are you planning to get one? And I was like, I'm not planning to get one anytime soon. Like, I'm not specifically searching for one because I'd like one, but I usually like thrift or wait until some like deal comes up. So I never usually plan to get a specific doll. But I was like, you don't have to send like I, I, I'll buy her myself eventually. And they were like, no, I really, really want to send you one. So that's what this doll is. And I believe this was shipped like directly from eBay. That's why there's no note or anything. But that's the context for this one. There was like an email exchange and this is so cool. And I assume that this is because I have had a quest to find this specific, oh my God, she's so pretty, this specific doll because I actually, <laughs> one was sent in my PO box and it wasn't this doll, but I thought it was. And then I already had her outfit from one of my friends had sent. So I, there's just been like layers of Masquerade Madness Chelsea and look at her she feels like she's like brand new out of box and the reason i'm saying that is because her hair is just barely like it's like box hair messy so like from shuffling around in the box this is very interesting and she's so pretty and thank you so so much for sending her and i really appreciate it like i'm really excited to get her outfit on her and get her on display because with masquerade madness I, I again i don't normally with my scene i'm never like okay today i'm gonna buy tropical bling bikini chelsea for example i never do that because i'm like I will spend way more if I specifically seek out one doll than if I just wait and see if one comes up for me. Um, so that's why I was like, I'm not specifically planning to buy her anytime soon. But the I did when I when I made that costume to be Masquerade Madness Barbie when I went to New York City last last year at some point. And <laughs> it was such a nightmare to get that doll. I had to buy three separate dolls and I ended up paying like probably $80, $90 for that to make one decent looking Masquerade Madness Barbie because it was just such a chore for some reason I just could not find that doll and all of her stuff so it ended up being a, a giant headache so that's why with Masquerade Madness I've just been like I'm stepping away no because it's one of those lines that's like weirdly expensive and hard to find right now for some reason but all of that is to say thank you so so much um I don't know if I should say her name I have it kind of off the top of my head but um I really really appreciate you sending her to me and I'm so excited to again like get her dressed up fixed up I'll probably do a video of fixing up her hair even though it's already pretty much perfect I'll condition it and wash it out it'll just be like a leisurely restoration video um and yeah she'll get to have her outfit back and I'm very excited about that so thank you so so much for this one I really appreciate it and then um moving on the next one this one, unfortunately, it got, like, opened up, so I hope everything's in here, but just for context, this is how it arrived in my P.O. box, and the lady at my P.O. box that, like, works at the post office is, like, really, really cool, and she told me, like, yeah, it came like this, um, we've, like, had it in a separate area just in case so it doesn't get moved, so hopefully everything made it, but it's, like, it, it's open, um, but I'm gonna open it from what I think is the top just in case, but yeah, let's see. <laughs> and again, I'm sorry, I've never had something arrive that, op well, one time actually I bought stuff from Germany, like, well, my friend had sent me like, I had shipped a bunch of stuff from Germany to his house and then he shipped them to me later. And the box arrived like completely open, but everything was still in there. So hopefully that's the case here. Um, okay, so there is a note. So it says uh, from Jeannie, and I don't mind if you read my name in the letter. <laughs> well, would you look at that? the rainbow high <laughs> card oh i love this how funny and it's blank too all right well that i'm putting one on my wall now that i have two i can put one on display and one <laughs> thank you oh my god that is so funny <laughs> okay note hi my friends and i started dog collecting after watching a lot and i mean hours and hours and hours of your videos together really oh that's so cool also your handwriting is like absurdly good I'm extremely jealous. <laughs> I feel like my friends and I have grown so much closer since collecting dolls and fawning over new and old dolls and it's thanks to you. That is so cool. That is so sweet. I love that. <laughs> you are so down to earth and it's been so fun working with you and everyone involved on Doll Lect. Okay, so I saw the name Jeannie and I thought maybe that was you. Okay, so Jeannie is... Okay, so this is a bit of a spoiler, but um, you're here on my 50k video. I... Um, I decided to, I've always wanted to have like a really good doll database type website on the internet and I've never seen one that just encompasses every single doll that ever existed. There's been some really good ones but a lot of them have gone down over time so I've been wanting to make a website for like preserving this sort of stuff 
and I've been like showing hints about it on Twitter so if you follow me on Twitter which is X Canadensis same way it's spelled here you can see like information about that and the site should be going public relatively soon we have a few roadblocks that are blocking us from doing that but we have like uh like a lot I think like 3,000 images almost a thousand records which are like individual dolls are already in the database just because we have like a small team working on it together and Jeannie does the graphic design like some of the graphic design stuff and it's like really really cool um so I basically uh it's like it's not my website I don't want it to be my website but I I bought the website so I bought the domains i I'm paying for the hosting, all that kind of stuff, but it's meant to be like community based. And there will be a video all about that once it's live, but I didn't want to like tease you guys like two months before the website goes live. Cause again, there's some things that we have to fix before it goes fully live. But um, yeah, this is one of my friends from that project. So this is so cool. Um, I love the team so much. I've met so many cool new friends. I've gotten so much joy from chatting about the most random things at 2 a.m. We stayed up absurdly late one night, just having a blast and working on a project we all care about. I was so obsessed with Monster High as a child and never got to have them being raised as a boy, but your constant reminder to be authentically yourself and just to let go of all the judgment has allowed me to discover my love for collecting dolls and has brought me endless amounts of gender euphoria as a trans woman. Oh my god. Thank you for convincing me to finally buy those dolls I always desired as a kid and wasting my financial aid money to get them. XOXO Genie. That is so sweet. I'm so glad that this has been something really, like, fun for you. That's the biggest thing for me is, like, we don't have any guarantees of how our life is going to go or um, if there's another one or anything like that. So just um, letting go of how other people feel about you, which is really hard sometimes, it really is, but letting go of um, other people's, like, preconceived notions of who you should be and what you should be and just, like, doing what you love and living for yourself so I really I'm obviously not like living super selfishly and like taking away and stepping on other people but you know like doing things in your life that you want to do to make yourself happy which is why I'm constantly so busy is because I'm constantly trying to do things that I want to do I don't want to miss out on anything um but this is so sweet thank you so so much oh my gosh okay um and then we have some paper things here so we have a little manila envelope and then some Vocaloid stickers. Cute. Cute. <laughs> Love it. Okay. And then in, in here, I saw Torlai. Miss Stripe, what are you doing here? What are these? Okay. It says Monster High Collection number 16, Torlai Stripe. What is this? Oh, cool. What language is it? Is this French? I don't know. I see the word lychee. <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce that. Sorry. Monstro journal intime, probably. <laughs> Is this all about Torlai? What the heck? This is a Torlai. I just figured she was just featured on the cover. I also don't recognize this art. This is so cool. So this one is about la directrice, Madame Sintete. I don't know what that means. Probably headless headmistress, blood good. <laughs> These are so cool! This is a thing that the U.S. doesn't really have as much as other countries, which is such a shame. So a lot of other countries will have, like, really cool media like this. So there's, like, whole magazines dedicated to doll lines in other countries. And Monster High had it for a little while here. I do have one copy of the Monster High magazine that they released here. I love it so much. My dad just randomly brought it home for me one day, and I would just sit and read that thing for hours. I only had the one, but it was so cool. I think it was, like, a 2013, early 2013 or late 2012 one. I don't remember. Uh, but, like, this type of thing is so cool to me. But I don't know. U.S. markets don't really snap this stuff up. But, like, I have never heard of these before in my life. It's by the company RBA, I guess. And they're dated 2015. These are so cool. Thank you, Jeannie. Oh, my God. Look at Miss Torlai in there. We're gonna have to scan these and put them on the website, so. <laughs> Thank you. And then, okay, I recognize this. These, oh my god, it still lights up. So these are like these little pet shop domes, and I remember the day I got these when I was a kid. I have two of them. They were so cool. So they have these little lights in them so that you can display and play with your like little pet shops on like in here. And I've been really wanting to make space on my display for mine, but I haven't figured out how I'm gonna do it yet. Probably up top. But this is like a little fish one. I don't know this one actually because I only I had the campsite one and like I think it was a stage. It's purple and it has something going on inside. But I liked the campsite. I thought it was super pretty. Um, but I just love that it has these little lights and you just press here to get it. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. And then there's some little air thingies in here. What? I'm gonna pass away. Hold on. I'll be right back. Ah! <laughs> 
Sorry, there's like a lot of cat hair on my pants. Don't worry about it. Ronaldo was rubbing on me earlier. Are you sure? <laughs> okay, this is real drama Draculaura, who... This doll released several times, but I had one on pre-order from Amazon, and I was like, I'm good. Like, Amazon has never wronged me. I once waited a year for a pre-order, but I still got the item, even though it was released, like, multiple times. It was just a mess, but I got the item. My Draculaura pre-order just disappeared one day. There's no record of it ever existing. Um, well, you can still see that I purchased something, but it doesn't even show what I purchased. It's just blank. I have no idea what happened. Um, but basically, I don't... I, that's why I only have two real drama draw dolls. And you sent me Draculaura. Her hair's really soft. Um, but I was really, like, really into the real drama line, and not only because I just think they're super cool, but I actually got to meet the designer who did them, so I was, like, it was a personal, like, not only did I want them because they're new Monster High Dolls and I thought they were cool, but, like, I got to talk to her specifically about them. So this is so special, are you sure? Look how cool, like, she has, like, metallic buttons. Okay, she is the best one out of the three that I have. I have Claudine and, um, well, three, this is the third one. I have Claudine and Frankie. Which I was very fortunate to get Frankie in person at the Mattel store. I had no idea that it was going to be such a tr like a nightmare to get them all. Um, oh, wait, her skirt is so interesting too. It's like different. Although maybe this is how the Wave One doll skirt was. It just feels like it's like pretty short. This is so cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my god. I can't wait to put her on display with the others. Her face is like really pretty. I have trouble with a lot of Dracula faces, and like hers is exceptionally pretty. Um, and then we have more stuffing in here. So I'm trying to make sure I don't get anything lost in here. Oh my gosh, hi! <gasps> Look! A Littlest Pet Shop bat. I've never seen this one before either, which is funny because I just went through a list. So this must be a later uh, release one. This one's really cool. She's got like a yellow body, but like, is she like clown themed? Yeah, because she has a star on her eye. I have no idea about this one, but she is adorable. I only have, like, one of the bats in this sculpt, I'm pretty sure. Um, okay, and then there's this little envelope here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have Draculora's little poster thing. And then this really cute little... So this is, like, a little stationary thing. And then... Uh, K-pop photo card? I don't know who this is. It says Orbit on the back and Blockberry Creative. I've seen that Blockberry Creative name before. Um, she's pretty. I, I'm going to venture to guess because I see a moon in the middle. Luna? Is Luna one person? Brett, hmm. do you know? Is Luna one person? Who is Luna? From K-pop? <laughs> that is a group. Okay, cool. So this could be a member. From <laughs> Luna, Luna <laughs> well i was like i wanted to say maybe it's a person from luna but what if luna was like one person okay well now we know sorry, i'm sorry i have no idea <laughs> i'm gonna like i'll find a place for this little picture it would be funny to put wait is it a person or a group no i'm tripping i don't know <laughs> okay and then oh my gosh look we have a sea turtle pet that says San Diego. This is so cute. I'm about to set up my little wall. The, what I was gonna say with this is like, I'm about to set up my wall of all the like things that you guys have sent me. Um, well, not all of them, they, they all wouldn't fit, but you know, like a lot of them. And I was like, I'm just gonna put this here next to like selfies, like people's selfies that they've sent me. This picture, <laughs> like, yeah, this person, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but this says, and this would be very cute on there too. as like decoration. This is adorable. And then I'm thinking the package was not compromised, honestly, because all of the stand parts were individual and outside of anything, and they're all safe in here. Um, but we have Mr. Count Fabulous and Draculaura's stand. Oh my gosh. And then Alone Princess Celestia. Okay, I really hope that the Postal Service didn't um, eviscerate this package too much and everything arrived safely. If not, I am so sorry. Um, hopefully whoever, whatever postal worker found that stuff in his truck, um, <laughs> if anything fell out, I hope they, uh, take good care of it. <laughs> um, but thank you so, so, so much. This is so sweet. And your letter, I really appreciate it. Let me get all of this paper stuff up here. Also, I am actually, like, freaking out over this. I've never seen this before. Those of you from France, question mark, wherever these are from, how many of these did they do? Is there an archive? I'm gonna have to look this up because these are amazing. Meality and Persephone. Oh, these are so cute. 
okay sorry <laughs> i love this thank you so so much i really appreciate it it's so cool to hear from you i i love working on the database project with everybody too it's so much fun and you have been so cool to talk to in there and stuff this is like cool and I connect with you on another level because I didn't know any of that stuff about you either. Um, but thank you so, so much for sharing that with me. I know that's um, very vulnerable and I appreciate it a lot. And thank you. <laughs> um, and um, let me know if you want me to link your links in the description because I know you have social media, but I don't know if you want that associated here. I get it. Um, but yeah, so next, the next package is this one. And I know exactly who this one is from. This is from... Dolls on the Go. I love Dolls on the Go. Dolls on the Go, uh, Rachel, was one of the first people, actually our whole family, um, sent one of the original packages to my P.O. Box when I first opened it. And we've been like pretty close mutuals on social media ever since. I don't use Instagram a lot, and that's her main platform, but um, I really love seeing her post. And if you haven't seen her post before, she does like a lot of, like in the store footage, she does a lot of like thrifting and she posts all sorts of fun stuff on her instagram so she's she's like she's a delight she's a delight i highly recommend checking out her stuff um and she has sent me a box here oh no did i open it the wrong way okay never mind a rainbow high stationary note okay so we've got some stickers and it says my name on it which is brooke all right and inside it says hey brooke just and this says february 2023 so we're good I think uh, the last P.O. Box video I did was like mid-January, so that's the earliest that any of this stuff could have come in. Um, but I was going to do a video like two weeks ago, but then I saw that I was at like 49,000 subs and I was like, it would be very cute to do this for 50. So I, I held on to stuff. I hope that's okay. Um, I've been cleaning and always downsizing. I always ask myself, would Brooke want this? <laughs> Keep what you like, pass on what you don't. Nothing special this time, just some books. Moving things around. We're moving things more doll-related than actual dolls. Or... Oh, movies thing. Sorry. that I was like, that sentence didn't make sense, but it does. I just can't read. Um, love, Rach. Dolls on the go. Thank you so much. Okay. Well, the first thing that I saw were Monster High napkins. I love this sort of thing. When Monster High was coming out, it was one of the only lines that I did this for. I actually collected quite a bit of the merch. Um, it's all still stored away in a bin, so I really want to get it on display because I. it was mostly like stationary type stuff so like pencils erasers that sort of stuff but like i have i have a collection of monster high merch so this is a really cool thing to add to it because this is just something so fun like you i don't know these don't really get preserved over time except that there's some on ebay probably that have been there forever and nobody's thinking about buying them but once they're gone they're gone for good you know and it's something i care about thank you rachel <laughs> um okay and then i see this little claudine what is this oh this is something from mcdonald's i never got to participate oh my gosh look it's like shaped like a radio, but I think it's meant to be a little chest. Um, and it says Happy Meal on the side. I never got to do any of the Monster High Happy Meal stuff for whatever reason. Just, um, I didn't really go to McDonald's much. I did the My Little Pony McDonald's stuff and the Wink stuff, but other than that, I didn't really get to participate. What is this? <gasps> I've never seen this before in my life. What? It's a little paper doll of Claudine with like a plastic base but you can put different claudines within what the heck this is so cool so you get to have multiple so there's like her signature look and then there's some that whoever owned this previously already did there's haunted i did not know about this this is so cool so look so i think you probably weren't supposed to put the stickers on here um which i assume this was thrifted and i don't really mind it's kind of cool um so i assume you can pop Claudine out of here somehow and then you can put a different Claudine oh no never mind I see so this is the base Claudine and then you snap your other one on top and then you put accessories on this this is so cool this is probably the best Happy Meal toy I've ever seen in my life okay not true but it's up there in terms of playability not like displayability or quality this is probably one of the coolest I've ever seen especially with the matching box what the heck 2015 okay that might be why I've never heard of it. This Oh, I forgot to put the stickers back. This is so cool, especially because there's outfits I've never seen her in before. Like, I love this. Thank you so much, Rachel. This is so random. I've never heard of this in my life. Wow. It's so funny because I'm so, like, deeply engrossed in Monster High, but yet there's still things that I don't even know. <laughs> Alrighty. 
and then we're gonna have a lot of media which i really want to set up oh my gosh these are brats i really want to set up like a media area but i'm not sure where to do it because i don't have a tv in any of my doll rooms yet i might end up doing it um, but certainly not a dvd player i don't own a dvd player so i need to work on that but we do have like a really nice little media center in our living room that i could uh, put all this kind of stuff in but i just haven't decided yet that's why you haven't seen it on display um but we have brats desert jewels which is actually kind of funny i don't know if you realize this rachel but you had sent me desert jewels yasmin like a long time ago oh my gosh okay so and then super babies and the the like live action brats movie which i i have the soundtrack to this i found it at a thrift store and i bought it it's really cool <laughs> thank you these are so cool okay and then yeah so brats specifically i never see the media at thrift stores i only ever see star and style and so this is very strange okay brats girls really rock which i think i have her outfit but i don't have her um jade and then oh my gosh passion for fashion diamonds and yeah so this is the one i see at the thrift store quite often and i have this one but i don't know if it um like has all of its stuff okay this is really cool we've got star and styling and then if and if i do end up having that one i have other friends that um would be interested in adding it to their collections i think and then we have ghoul friends till the end which i'm i'm so silly i keep buying these but i never write down which ones i have so Jury's out if I have this one or not, because I read them all online, so I've already read them, uh, but I just don't know which ones I have. Oh my gosh, look. Homework pages. <laughs> Whatever uh, kid owned this before. Thank you so much. So cool. And then here we have, oh my gosh, hi. We have American Girl. So we have the Samantha Christmas special movie. We have the Leah Thomas movie. And then we have Molly times two, but they're like different. Okay. <laughs> I just, I'm setting up my American Girls again. I know I took them down and you guys haven't seen them in a minute. They're all getting set up again. So you're going to see them again soon <laughs> in the next hour update probably. And then we have an extra fan or extra mini. Oh, how funny. So I have this one, but I found her just loose at a store and I asked an employee and they were like, we will throw her away if you don't take her. So you might as well. And I was like, Okay, mine, and she's been my car buddy. She just lives in my little, like, center console thing. Um, and she's missing a lot of her stuff, because, I don't know, it feels like maybe they someone was trying to steal her, but also she was missing her shoes and stuff, and I don't know, it was very unusual. We've had confirmation from Brett that Luna is, in fact, a girl group. <laughs> but, sorry. Um, <laughs> Everyone rest easy. <laughs> Luna is a group, although there is somebody named Luna with a U. That is one person. <laughs> Um, and they do belong to Blockberry Creative, I think. So I think, I think I guessed the K-pop properly. Anyways, um, now I have this doll complete. Thank you. I love this doll. <laughs> um, she's like really, really cute. And now my other one can forever live in my car. Um, okay. And then the next one is, oh my God, what the heck is this? So this is a Rock Angels Chloe. This is the, this is the Chloe. This is the art for Chloe, I'm pretty sure. Um, she has green eyes, so I'm like, wait. Um, look at this. It's a little wallet. This is so cute. I was thinking, like, maybe this is, like, a Happy Meal type thing, but the, the enamel charms are, like, super nice. I love that, like, you can clip it to your belt. This is so cute. I would clip it to my fanny pack, for sure. I love this. I love this. Okay, wait. Where are my Rock Angels? Well, my rock angels are kind of just there because um, I haven't built a display for them yet. Okay, enjoy those, ladies. <laughs> okay, and then here we have some accessories, some yellow ice skates, and a little water bottle and some sunglasses. Thank you. We'll utilize those well with my Barbaras. And then we have... Okay, this is a coloring book, but it's like really, really small and cute. What is this? I love this. Oh my gosh. From Designwear. Yeah, I was wondering, I think there's French on it. And I was like, what's going on? It's from Canada, I think. Um, and then there's a little eraser. This is like individually packaged. Where are these from? This is so weird. And then we have this really cute Claudine wristband, also by Designwear, but it says Disney. What the heck? What is this? Okay, what what is design wear? These must have all come in a kit together or something. And then I think this is the same company, but I can't read it. I'll try to read the other one. 
I cannot read what these are from, but these are little Monster High nail polishes. Cute. <laughs> Thank you. Put those right in my Monster High little merch area. I have a spot designated for it, but right now it just has um, the empty Haunt Couture boxes, so you need to put the merch there. And then we have some pencils. These are my favorite thing. I was trying to track these down when they were in stores, but like it was actually pretty difficult. I do have some, um, but I do not have these ones. And then we have someone within with an ethereal glow. Okay. Blonde hair. Who are you? Oh, hello. Is this... Is this a skipper? <laughs> it's Mattel. Um, I think this is a teen skipper, potentially. I'm not 100% sure, um, but look at her. Her body is, like, different. Like, she has, um... The way the waist is done is very unusual, at least in my experience, okay? And she has amazing connect line hair, so I cannot wait to wash this out and get her um some kind of outfit i do have some skipper outfits i think i used to my stepmom had given me her like childhood barbie collection but then my dad took a lot of them and sold them and then some of them went to my stepsister so i have no idea what's going on with all that <laughs> um but potentially i have teen skipper clothes i'll have to check and then oh my gosh we have an ever after high yearbook here oh my gosh okay and it's shiny oh my god i got so scared <laughs> <laughs> there's like signatures inside and i was like oh god <laughs> like did this child just have their no th these are from the ever after high characters pretty convincing they all have different like handwriting and it's all written in different like colors of pen and stuff that's cool um okay this is really cool oh my gosh they even like have little notes that they like they like whatever student this belonged to scrawled around oh my gosh and it has that beautiful ever after high art style oh this is amazing how many characters does it go to Oh, it even has the the crumbs. I don't know why I pronounced the B so aggressively. <laughs> um, oh, this is just so cool that it has, like, all the different handwritings. That's just so fun. I wonder if they... Because these are not a font, I don't think. I mean, maybe they are. Because um, the Ys are different in Cupid's. I wonder if they just had, like, random employees at Mattel or Scholastic or whoever. Just, like, write the notes. This is so cute. Thank you. I, I'm going to get this on display immediately. This is so cool. Thank you so, so much, Rachel. I love random merchandise. You know me. <laughs> you know me well. And I, I think I've bitten you with the merchandise bug a little bit because every time I log into Instagram and look at your story, I'm seeing new Rainbow High merch and I'm like, oh. So now I used to inform you about the Rainbow High merch, but now you are the one that's informing me about the Rainbow High merch because you know it better than I do at this point. Because <laughs> um, I just don't have as many stores in my area that I can check for them. And then often it's stores that I don't go to super often, but you guys are on top of it. Obviously, I see like, 25 different people who all collect merch posting so they all check different places but like I don't check Bur Burlington I, I don't I lost that I don't check Burlington super regularly but other people do and I see their posts and I'm like okay I'm going <laughs> thank you so so much Rachel I'm really excited like I love these sorts of wristbands these are like <laughs> Brett loves these too little wristband they're just so fun I don't know there's something so like exciting about these anyway <laughs> thank you so so much Rachel always happy to hear from you and then moving on I think this one is from either somebody that I know from the comments or somebody who has sent something before I'm not gonna say your name obviously because it's your legal name but I don't know I I'm really good at remembering I can remember names really well but not the faces that go to them but like because these are all things that I've like read on the boxes before I'm like I know this name from somewhere <laughs> okay so there we go there's a note right up top It says, hi, Brooke. Beautiful handwriting. Hi, Brooke. I'm so, if I don't comment on your handwriting, by the way, it's, I probably forgot, by the way. I'm not saying, like, you have ugly handwriting. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I just realized, like, oh, if Brooke doesn't say anything about my handwriting. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna try to stop doing that. <laughs> um, I'm so glad you liked the Mimi dolls I sent a while ago. Oh, my God. Yes, I love those. <laughs> so I do know exactly who you are. I've included another one. Please don't mind the hair. I tried this time. Don't worry. <laughs> I've sent you a secret Joju doll. <gasps> I've been trying to order those forever, but I'm trying to find like a Korean proxy specifically, but because I've never worked with like buying anything from Korea before, I don't know where to begin. There's actually several things I want to buy from Korea because like there's a YouTube channel in Korea that me and Brett really like that we want to order merch from, but I don't even know where to begin. Um, oh my gosh hopefully she will fit in your anime collection or other place you decide she'll be with the Mimi dolls probably um but they do have a show for secret joju i noticed you don't have a lot of mc square dolls and i think you mentioned you wanted more dolls with inset eyes here are two fairy ember and adrienne with the butterfly dress it's actually adrienne i always want to pronounce it different though um uh, you can make earrings using ember's wing mold 
but I've never tried. That is so cool. She was beautiful, so I just displayed her. You will also find a holiday Cinderella doll with ornament. I don't believe you have her. I don't have any holiday Cinderella dolls. I do have a holiday Snow White doll from a long time ago. Um, your channel is always fun, educational, and beautiful. The dolls, of course. I appreciate the time and work you put into your videos. I wish you the best in this new year from Kathy. Um, I'm gonna read just the the nickname you put um, from Kathy. Thank you so, so much. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. Secret Joju, like, there's a bunch of those dolls on eBay, but I'm trying to buy them in, like, a lot together so that the shipping is cheaper, so I just haven't done it yet. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. And I've been trying, by the way, to order more, like, Mimi dolls and stuff, and I'm having trouble. So again, if you are buying them from Korea and you have some kind of proxy, please share that information with me. I would be, I would appreciate it a lot. Or any of you guys, if you have that sort of data. Okay. And MC Squared, I wanted to buy them when they were in stores, but that was, like, right during the time when I was, like, going to college and, like, shortly before that when, like, I don't know, I just didn't have a lot of money going around for dolls and I was specific. I was specifically focused on wigs. Um, so they kind of slipped past me and I don't really find them at thrift stores very often, but I try to buy them when I do. And the ones you described, I'm 90% sure I don't have, but I'll know when I see them. Okay, so this is, yeah, I don't have this one. So this is Adrian in, oh my God, this dress. Yeah, so, oh, funny enough, if you, um, Michael Scott Anderson is the creator of Rainbow High, like the originator of Rainbow High, and this was his first line at MGA, I'm pretty sure. MC squared. So, um, you can tell he has a thing for inside eyes, I guess, which I do too. I love dolls with inside eyes. Um, and MC squared is like ridiculously pretty. They have weird articulation though. That's the one thing. Like their legs are very strange. Like they look like they can rotate, but they actually can't. The legs will pop out. I mean, you kind of can. It's very unusual. Um, but they're such beautiful dolls. They have such nice quality hair. Their clothing for the most part was super high quality. Like I can't recommend MC squared dolls enough, especially because you can find them relatively cheap, pretty common. Um, there's a few characters that were like, really rare when they came out and they're super hard to find and I super regret not buying them when they were in stores because I saw some of those like super rare ones but I don't know I just didn't um and look at her so she has a little collar and her dress is super pretty it is high low but I'm forgiving it because this is peak high low era MC squared is like the high low doll line I don't know like they just do it and also I really like the style of this dress and look at her cute shoes so cute thank you so so much i do actually have my mc squared dolls on display i don't know if you guys have seen them but they're below where the um star darlings are but i think i'm gonna move them they're they were near the live dolls before because i kind of liked i think they're somewhat similar looking i don't know um and then we have the little craft which is this like a it's like a resin mold okay so these are the wings for the doll which oh my god Man, if I had known she had wings when she came out, things would have changed. Oh, could- wait, how does she wear them? Is there a hole in the back? I don't know. Um, but there are wings for the doll, which is so cool. <laughs> and then there's a mold so that you can make your own. And I really want to start working with resin, so maybe this would be a good place to start. Cool, because I actually bought the kit. But you have to- there's a lot of, like, safety things you have to do with resin that I'm taking very seriously. So I'm going to be doing it in the garage, and it's- boiling hot outside and also I think there's temperature conditions you have to follow I don't know that is not relevant to you guys sorry <laughs> um anyway so here we have Cinderella I didn't know they did holiday dolls in the 2010s okay so this is a 2010s Mattel Cinderella doll she's really pretty and I guess she's a holiday one the gloves are quite unusual they are sculpted in like she's articulated though this is very weird I not weird in a bad way but like I've never seen this doll before She's so pretty. I really like her. Oh my gosh. Wait, let me see the shoes. Glass slippers. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Thank you, Kathy. She's so cool. Look at this doll. Sorry. I If I get too close, the lighting gets like all out of whack, but like, wow. Thank you so much. She's so cool. All right. Sorry. The white balance was all out of whack, but beautiful. She, this is a really beautiful doll. I'm gonna have to research more because I had no idea these existed. Um, and this is really cool. I really love this because this is clearly like playline fun like collector style doll which is what holiday dolls normally are and I'm, she's not like amazing quality or anything but she's really nice like the design is really cute it's different from her normal while still being like yeah that's Cinderella it's really fun I super like this doll she's really cool um and then and I really want to display my Mattel Disney princesses so that'll be a good place to start for sure and then we have a little stand which I assume is for our Joju doll or no this is Mimi on the bottom cool and then we have I think these are <laughs> this tiny little bubble wrap some little accessories which i think go to mc squared but i don't know for sure we have some little glasses and some little socks 
and then which were mentioned in the note and then we have a bunch of little accessories which i think are probably joju but i don't know but there they are or maybe i don't know <laughs> and then these are all empty and we have someone in here i think this is our joju doll i'm so excited <gasps> hello oh she's so cute so sh wow okay so now i can watch the media associated with this because i haven't watched it because i knew i would it would be a problem that I would have to get the dolls immediately, which I've been wanting to, but I've just been like, I don't know where to begin to buy them. She has that super soft hair that a lot of um, like Asian dolls use. I don't know what it is. I can't tell if it's nylon or saran. It feels like saran to me, honestly, because it's too thin to be nylon, but it's like the softest hair known to man. Like if you get like a Precure style doll or something, like it's that hair. It's so nice. Oh my gosh, and the dress is really nice. It's really detailed and super nice, and all the trims and stuff. Oh my god, thank you, Kathy. Little wand. Yeah, so I keep myself from watching media associated with dolls, um, like Secret Joju. Um, I don't know if this is one from one of the actual shows or not. I think there's dolls that are just Joju dolls. Um, I haven't watched the show because I'm like, I know I will buy the dolls. Like, I know it will be a problem, so I'm going to wait until I can get the dolls because I know that I want them, I'll buy them, and then I can watch the show. Um, so, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I can't. Her face is really, really pretty. I I didn't know what to expect them to look like because on the... It's mostly, like, new in box photos. I don't really see a lot of collectors post these. Um, so, I was just going in basically completely blind on these, and Wow. Thank you so, so much, Kathy. This is so cool. I don't know if I've ever mentioned Secret Jojo on this channel because I wanted it to be a surprise um, when I ended up getting one, but now it's a surprise from you and I super appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, and then we have, okay, so this is a Mimi doll. She is so interesting. Her hair is amazing. Was this the one that you said, like, you tried? Because it looks really cool. Is this her original outfit? This is really cool. I really like this, like, over piece going on. Is it all one piece? It is. Oh, shoot. I wanted this to be a separate piece. This is really, like, look at the sleeves on this. This is such a cool doll. And I love that they have, like, the full articulation that you would want to have on a doll like this. Huh. She is so cool. Speaking of my doll website that I'm making, um, we need to get these cataloged on there, like, memes and stuff, because that would be really fun. Um, which, by the way, if you want to help with that website in any way, just, like, DM me on Twitter or Instagram. Hopefully I see Instagram. Instagram's hard. I don't always see the DMs, but um let me know and I can get you into our little discord I'm just keeping it closed for now because we're like beta testing the website and stuff um and entering things so that once the website goes live it'll be useful to people right off the bat you know anyway really cool Mimi doll I'm excited I'm wondering if this is an original outfit I love the colors in her hair like she has this really pretty green in her hair she's really cool and then lastly we have miss this is Ember right this character it said it in the note i'm sorry if i'm wrong i haven't watched the mc squared show yet i was i like wanted to i watched some of it at some point but it was back when it came out so it was a long time ago um okay oh my goodness <gasps> wow okay the hair color is amazing she's so pretty so i remember that i remember this whole line when it came out i have one she she she's a dragon i have the dragon one from this line um and then there was a mermaid which i think was brighton is that that character's name or Brighton? I, th I thought I had a T in it. I thought it was Brighton, but sorry if I'm wrong. Again, like I I don't know a whole lot about MC Squared. I just think they're like exceptionally pretty dolls. They have such pretty sculpts. These like mermaids clearly was like inspired by the way that these dolls look. Well, there was a line called what's her? What was it called? Well, I don't remember what it was called, but there was a line that was designed by um, Mar, um, which is um, somebody who used to do work for MGA. I don't know if she still does, um, but she designed a line that had like really cool inset eyes and stuff but it never came to fruition but mc squared the mermaids dolls i'm pretty sure are using mc squared eyes so there's clearly some inspiration from mc squared too anyway i really like mc squared i think they're super cool although again their articulation is very odd there were some things with mc squared that were interesting but their clothing quality and like the face paint and like styling it's always on point they're beautiful and their hair quality is amazing it's just like really heavy nice hair it's very very soft and nice and then we have her little masquerade mask super cute thank you so so much kathy i'm so stoked about that joju doll she is so cool there's a few like my ebay cart so my ebay watch list has i've had my ebay account for over 10 years and my watch list items will stay on ebay for like 10 years no matter how many times i leave an offer the seller will be like no so they just stay in my watch list forever <laughs> and um 
so my watch list is basically useless because there's so much stuff in there because sometimes I just put stuff in there to like archive it so that I can look at it later because it's something that I want to like take a picture of or something um, or like verify it's real I don't know um so my cart is my real watch list and there's like a lot of Joju dolls in my cart that have been there for probably a year because I'm just like I don't know <laughs> um but yeah because I'm not gonna pay $30 shipping per doll if I could bundle them all together with like a proxy of some sort and then get them shipped myself you know it's just easier but anyway <laughs> Thank you so so much Kathy. I super appreciate it. I'm really the, the Mimi dolls they're just so exciting because it's just a doll like um a whole doll line that I know absolutely nothing about which is always so fun because if it's a doll released in the US I most likely know quite a bit about it uh, just because I constantly am researching that kind of stuff but with a lot of dolls from outside the US there's either not good resources in English or there's not even resources in the original language and then like I just don't get exposed to them so it's always a treat when I get to discover a new doll line and Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'm really excited. Um, and I, I do actually have them on display right now. I don't think I've showed it in a video actually, but they're on display with my like Jenny dolls and my hashtag Lika dolls. Um, but I'm actually gonna be moving them. They're probably not gonna be in the anime room. Um, although Joju is a magical girl show, so I actually might put Joju in there, but the Mimi dolls will stay out um, in the general doll population. Um, that room is like magical girl minus Winx basically is what um, what's going on in there. Um, plus my little pony plus other stuff. I don't know. Anyway, um, moving on, I'm gonna do this box, which is from Amazon. So this one was shipped to my PO box from somebody from Amazon. Um, and I could venture to guess who this one's probably from, but hopefully there's a note so we can see. Um, oh, how cute! Okay, so this is a little mirror set. Okay, there is a note. Yeah, this is from my friend Dark Destiny, I figured. Thank you so, so much. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I actually, I think I bought this one at Macy's. Like I found it at Macy's backstage back in like November, but I never showed it on camera. But that means I can open this one because I haven't opened the other one. And um, I really wanted to, first of all, I want to see what the hair chalk does. It's fascinating to me. And I love the little compact, so they'll be cute on display, but also the little mirror. Thank you so much, Shanisa. This is really cool. So, so cute. I, I'm like thinking this isn't the same thing. I'll have to look because the packaging is like much more vibrant, but mine had pretty beat up packaging because I got it at Macy's backstage or whatever. Um, thank you so, so much. This is so cool. I just love all this Rainbow High merch. Again, with my website that we're making, I'm really hoping it's not my website, but like the website that, that I'm hosting essentially. I'm really hoping that we can archive stuff like merch for doll lines, but we're focused primarily on like the actual dolls, but the merchandise will come too. Um, thank you so, so much so cool i really love the rainbow high merch and you've introduced me like to ones that i've never seen before in my life because i search for it relatively often on amazon but it's not like you can search rainbow high merchandise that doesn't work you you have to search like rainbow high hair rainbow high pencil and hope for the best so it's actually quite challenging to find merch online even because again people the people listing it don't think like um maybe people will want to search for any merchandise rainbow high related you know um anyway moving on we have this package, which is, I can't show you any side of it because it has customs information on it. So it is from another country, but I'm not going to say which one because I'm, I mean, it might become pertinent. Um, <laughs> depends. Um, but I'm just trying to keep that kind of thing private for people in case they don't want people to know what country they're from. I realized that potentially that could be a problem for people. Um, okay. So it's so cool. These packages that I get from other countries, I don't know if the standards for like how things are packaged are different, but like they always have these cool little tabs and like open all nice. I always keep the pack. Well, not always, always, but most of the time I keep like international packages that I get, um, especially from the country that this one is from, because like the boxes are so nice. I keep them and I store stuff in them because they're just really nicely shaped boxes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. Okay. I'm just really excited about the crocodile sticker I'm seeing. Okay, so this one says open me with the card, but which one's first? Oh God, I don't know. I've got two. Okay, so this one has this really cool evil queen um, like motif on it. Let's open this one up. So we have, okay. I think I can, I think we're safe to say this package is from Australia. <laughs> okay. Hi, Brooke. Yes, you can read this on screen with my name. I'm sending you some stuff from Australia. Oh, I think I think it says what they are, so I'm going to um, put that aside. Um, okay, so these say what's in the box, so I'm going to not read them yet, but I want to see the name. Okay, these are from Josh, so thank you so, so much, Josh. I will read the rest um, in a little bit, but I just wanted I want to, like... Okay, first of all, I immediately noticed this. This is hilarious. Thank you. 
this is wildlife stickers from Australia, like Australian wildlife. And I immediately saw the crocodile and fell in love. I'm going to put these on my office door. Wow, there's all page of kangaroos. Are there different? I didn't know there were different types of kangaroos, to be honest. I guess that makes sense. Um, but I knew about wallabies, which are not kangaroos. I always thought they were just small kangaroos, but no, they're not. Because in Texas, people just have them. Like, I've gotten to pet plenty of weird animals. Like, not weird animals for if you live in Texas. So, like, echidnas and <laughs> kangaroo, baby kangaroo, and, like, emus. <laughs> Those are all Australian, I think. Um, because people in Texas just keep them. So when we go to exotic pet shows, we go because we have snakes and you can get food for your snakes cheaper at those. Um, <laughs> you see like these animals and you get to like interact with them. It's so interesting. Are frilled lizards from Australia? I never knew that. Okay, well, I'm learning today. I love this. Thank you so much. I will treasure this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. And then there's this really nice coloring page of some really cool like plants. Love it. Thank you. I have no idea what the plants are supposed to be or if it's just supposed to be a fun design, but I like it. Thank you. And then, here we go. Okay, so I did see that there was a brat cat in here. Really cool. I love brats cats. I had one as a kid and I, I feel like I never got rid of her, but I can't find her anywhere. I'll find, I will find her. And if she doesn't exist in my life anymore, I will find her out. I will find her at a thrift store or something, but thank you. I love brats cats. They're so funny. Aren't they just the strangest thing? I love them. They're ridiculous. I love that they did cats. Normally doll lines will do like puppies and stuff, so. Okay, oh my gosh, hi! Whoa! Anastasia! Cool, I have an Anastasia doll, but I have like the, kind of her like rags outfit. I don't know what you would officially call that outfit, but. Whoa, okay, so this is the Her Imperial Highness Anastasia doll. She's gonna look so much better on display. I mean, the other Anastasia will still stay, like, stay on display, but she'll look better in like the princess lineup in her princess outfit. Thank you. This is so cool, Josh. This is so sweet. Thank you. Look at the beading on this dress. What company made these? I don't remember. Does it not say? It doesn't. What? You don't have copyright info on your body? How do you take off the dress? All right, well, I'll leave her alone, but this is very cool. Wow, very pretty. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then um, she also has her little stand, which is super adorable. Oh, company? No. Well, GTI. I am unfamiliar. I'm not sure. Um, I'll look it up later. Don't worry. Like, But you can tell me in the comments. I would appreciate it. And then we have this tiny, cute little Hermione. I think that's this character. I'm sorry. I have never watched or read Harry Potter, but <laughs> cute. And then we have, what are these? Little Cratchers. Okay. We have a Cratcher. Two Cratchers. I didn't, I'm saying creature in a weird voice. Sorry. Um, I have no idea what these are, but, oh, look. Oh, are they like, um, those little Fuggler plushies? Is that what they're supposed to be? I don't know. These are fascinating though. <laughs> and then we have Miss Borbra and Ms. Borbra. Another one! What are these? Maybe the note will say, because I'm curious. <laughs> and then, who, are, who is this? I saw, okay, so I saw the tail, and I thought this was a relatively new Barbie, but I don't think so, actually. Josh, who is this? I, it'll say it in the note. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I don't think this is a Barbie at all. No, it is Mattel. Well, it could be another line. The face doesn't look super Barbie to me for some reason. She's really interesting. So she has a static tail. This kind of rotates, but I don't think it's intentional. And she has this like fabric belt. She's really cool. I love the hair. It's Kineclon. It's so soft. It has the volume. The, one of the reasons I like Kineclon so much is because it has this volume. So when I restore Kineclon dolls, I don't want it to lose this volume that it gets over time. Just like the way it feels, it's so soft. It's it's just so satisfying to like run your hands through and play with and even like brush. I don't know. I just love Kineclon. Um, but she seems to have like a bubble crown thing. I'm very curious about this doll. I've never seen her before. Oh, check this out. So why Kineclon wins always. I'm so sad that Kineclon is not manufactured anymore. <laughs> well, it is. Wig grade Kineclon, like human wig, is still made. Just so you know, Kineclon still exists. Um, and then we have Borbra. <laughs> and then, is this a brat? This is really cool. I think this is a Bratz thing. This is a little ornament with this really pretty dress. And it's something, I think it's Bratz. Almost looks like a little Bratz from like the way the face is done, but I think it's just because it's on this small scale. 
and I mean like little brats not the actual little brats dolls I mean the art style the art style is unusual um it's very interesting she's made out of like a very strange material this is beautiful and then we have Miss Delilah which thank you oh my gosh I've been wanting to do some like custom work with Delilah specifically so I'm excited thank you this is really appreciated oh my goodness so pretty I love Delilah okay so there is a note so now we get to have some context so it says I'm sending you some stuff from Australia <laughs> um which Bridget Bratz Cat plush oh that's her name Bridget probably okay <laughs> I read that wrong okay so we have Bridget is a Bratz Cat's plush and then we have her Hermione I was right about the name action figure okay so that's a Katya ornament really cute or it's a keychain actually okay feisty pets from hungry jacks which is burger king apparently yeah, it says burger king okay interesting so they are called feisty pets i mean i can see that they start out kind of sad and then yeah. <laughs> cute um and then three barbie fashionista dolls also from hungry jacks and then there was another little thing here that said we have rainbow high delilah 1997 anastasia Sorry, it's Anastasia. <laughs> Her Imperial Highness Special Edition doll and 1996 Bubbling Mermaid Barbie. Okay, so now I don't have to do the research on the Barbie. Whoa, and look how cool this box is. Now I can show you. It's like, I don't know. I like the shape of it. Put it over there. <laughs> Sorry, I like barricaded myself in here. I can't escape. <laughs> um, okay. Wow, thank you so, so much, Josh. These are so cool. Yeah, I don't know this doll, but she is absolutely gorgeous. Really cool. I love the blue and pink color scheme. She's beautiful. And then Miss Delilah here. I don't know. Got plans for you, darling. I probably a restyle actually, because I really want to do a Delilah with like the the hair that I gave my um, Zoe Electra doll. I really want to try that on her. Um, oh my gosh, she's so pretty! Thank you so so much, Josh. And this is my first Rainbow High doll from Australia, so she'll always be extra special. Oh my goodness. Ooh, yeah, because um, Victoria is technically like from Australia, so. I think she would be a fun one to display with a Victoria restyle because, yes, I have a second Victoria coming in the mail right now. <laughs> um, so they can be Australian friends because this is our Australian Delilah. <laughs> I'm curious to see if, like, there's a different batch to this one and stuff. I'm very excited to check that out. Thank you so, so much, Josh, for sending all of these beautiful dolls and little things. I really appreciate it. And thank you so, so much. And feel free to say hi in the comments because I do not know who you are in the comments. <laughs> okay, because I, I do know there's some Joshes in the comments, but there's probably a lot of them. <laughs> All right, here we go. It says, I recently found your videos and I've been binging them. I used to get items from the Barbie catalog when I was really young. I just turned 26. I was born in Florida, but moved around a bit and I'm currently in Missouri. I was just in Missouri pretty recently. Um, when we get to our property from... For, oh, when we get to our property for our farm, I'm going to have a Barbie room or shed because I have bins of them. My mom and I used to make clothes and accessories for dolls. She would sell them on eBay to help me raise funds for my Barbie obsession. I'm really happy you are making videos. Thank you. That's so cool. My mom, when she was a kid, used to make Barbie clothes for her Barbies, but unfortunately I don't have any of those. She still has some of her dolls that are now in my collection, but that is such a, like, a special, cool way to connect with your mom. I love that. Um, I would love to meet you. I'm currently building a dollhouse and accessories. That's my dream right now. I really want to have like a custom built dollhouse that I do myself. Um, and I have all the tools necessary to do it. I just need to figure out like where I'm going to put it, which I think I've come up with a solution. So um, there's going to be like a whole series on this channel of building a dollhouse. I'm so I want to do it so bad um but it's a time thing really it's I need to have time to like use laser cutting one thing takes like six hours so I really have to um make time <laughs> um sorry for the blah of info and misspellings no problem um I was in a car accident that kind of messed up my brain oh I'm so sorry I hope you're okay geez um and I'm not going to read your name out just in case that's impersonal, but I'll say your YouTube username. So it does I have, I have a YouTube channel named XS Arenas. I'm not the best at posting on it. Insta well, for me with like social media, for the most part, it's just for fun, you know, so you don't have to worry about like, I'm not good at posting on it. You post on it in whatever like speed and like you want to do it in, you know. Um, and Instagram and Facebook with the same name and same lack of posts. I'm including some stickers I had multiples of and some that I colored myself. <gasps> sounds so cool. I was wondering if you would like some handmade doll accessories. I haven't seen anyone sending you some, so I'm not sure how you feel about them. If you, I mean, I love anything doll related, and um, if you want to send me stuff, I would be happy to take it, but um, I wouldn't, like, uh, tell you, like, send them to me now. <laughs> um, 
but that would be really cool. I would love to put them on my dolls and you'd get to see them around. Um, I love seeing someone close to my age who wouldn't judge me for my obsession with design for dolls. I started college for art but ran out of funds so I didn't graduate, but I like to teach myself new things. Art is something that like, yeah, you can go to college for, but it's more like self-exploration and doing art yourself. So I hope you continue um, working on art and don't sell yourself short just because you didn't graduate. Um, Cause college, I don't like how college has become like a requirement to be respectable in like the world, I guess. Um, just do you, you know, it's supposed to be a tool to help you learn new things. So if you're doing that on your own, you're doing just the same. Um, I'm a huge fan of the Winx. Woo! I couldn't find them in my local stores when they came out. Yeah, so apparently they were like really poorly distributed um, in the US when they came out and just in general. Um, and they were more common in Europe, which is a shame. If you're talking about Mattel, I assume you are. Um, I only had a bloom ornament. I have that one! I love to find thrifted dolls that are unique, especially fun colored hair. I would love to get in contact with you if you're interested. Also, you were the first YouTuber I'm ever sending anything to. Thank you! That's so sweet! Um, I'm kind of weird in like the non My Little Pony ponies because their proportions feel better visually and my mom had some she passed on to me. I'm very like, I like fake ponies a lot too, but I'm very particular about them. So there's certain ones that I super like and then there's other ones that I'm not super interested in. Um, it's kind of random, but there's like specific ones that are super interesting and unique and different that I super super like so I know exactly what you're talking about um do you have the pregnant dolls I do finally um, I had them as a kid and um my friends sold them to me so now I finally have them back and I love them um or the tattoo barbie dolls I don't have those ones um and yeah I preferred one six scale doll honestly I think rainbow high is my favorite one six scale doll right now um and I'd love for you to read the whole letter out loud but I'm cool for you to just answer the questions done um, and then I'm not going to read your email out just in case that is private um and thank you so so much again I'm not sure if I should say your first name so I'll say the YouTube username instead so thank you so so much to XS arenas and now let's take a look at these stickers so Oh, these are the ones that are colored. Okay, how cute! So we have a few little... All right, so here are our stickers. So we have some Tinkerbell and some really pretty ones done in what I think is colored pencil, which is so fun. And then we have some Disney princesses in winter outfits. I super like the Tiana here. And Aurora's is very cute. Oh, these... Oh, shoot, I didn't realize. Okay, there's more. Oh, these are so cute. Thank you so, so much to XSO Arenas for sending these. These are so much fun. And thank you for your super sweet note too. There is this box here, which is quite long. I was about to do that thing where I try to read who sent it, which obviously I'm not going to read like your government name off the box. No. <laughs> okay. So this box is very big. <laughs> um, heavy too. Brett was like, what is in here? Because <laughs> he was helping me move all this stuff in here because uh, it was in another room for a while. Okay, so here we go. So, okay, we have a note. Okay, it says, Dear Brooke, you can read on camera if you want. I do. Okay, my name is Lily, pronounced Lily. Got it. <laughs> and I've been an avid watcher for a little bit now. I love watching your channel. Your thrift videos scratch the itch in my brain to go thrifting without me having to spend money. Ugh, I know. I really love those thrift videos. They're like my favorite to make because I just love going thrifting, but I don't get to go as often as I want to. I, I had a huge Monster High collection when I was a kid, but gave them all of them away. No, I'm so sorry, but I hope whoever got them really loved them. That's my thing. My childhood dolls, like, I would, like, I would do anything to have them back. I would, just because they were mine. Like, I have, I've almost recollected all of them at this point, but they weren't the ones that I specifically had. Um, but at least, hopefully, whoever got them loves them, and maybe to this day they're still in rotation, like, being played with and loved, and that's all I can hope for. <laughs> I'm 20 and also did a complete dual enrollment, just like me, and have my Bachelor of Science in Neuroscience. Wow, at 20. Wow. I got my bachelor's, I think it was in 2020, so I was 20, yeah. So we were on the same track. <laughs> um, I'm currently studying to earn my vet tech license and hope to go to veterinary neuroscience. That is so cool. Seeing someone my own age be so successful and enjoy hobbies that may seem frivolous to some fills me with so much hope and motivation. Thank you. That's so cool. Um, I know you love cats, so I thought I'd send along pictures of my own and my fosters. Yes! Over the past two years, my mother and I have worked to rescue 99 plus cats. If you'd like to see more pics of my cats on Instagram, I have one for my kittens. And it's I'll put it in the description. It's Lily's Kittens. 
That is so cool. I would love to foster, but I just don't have the space. Like I would need to have like a dedicated area just for them so that they don't get stressed out by my current cats and my current cats don't get stressed out. Uh, but it's something I really want to try in the future. I've fostered a lot of rabbits in my lifetime though. Uh, but we're always getting in new kittens and my dolls have been a wonderful escape from the more stressful parts of kitten care. I co that's so cool and it relates like so specifically to your career. Um, I collect Monster High and Ever After High and your videos help me appreciate Rainbow High and unfortunately I've become a little addicted. Yeah, I know. I feel people say like, oh my gosh, you're the reason I started collecting Rainbow High and I'm like, on one hand, woohoo, you get to appreciate these amazing dolls. That's awesome. But on the other hand, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, uh, while thrifting recently, I found many things that remind me of your channel and I picked up some things to send you as a token of my gratitude. Thank you for everything. And the inventory list, I assume this is the inventory list. Um, thank you for everything from Lily. Thank you so much, Lily. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm, I'm excited to check out the cats on Instagram. All right. So we have, wow. Okay. The big box. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to get started. So first we have some some um little oh my god what were they called mini sweets lol surprise dolls so i have a friend who also collects these so these might be ones that i can trade with him so that i can complete my set and he can complete his uh because i do already have these two but thank you so so much um and then these <gasps> calico critters oh this is a um what are they called well they're from five you get them at five below and they're by the same people who make honeybee acres and then what were they called? It's called like something loose or something. I don't remember. Um, but they're like really, really stinking cute. Can't read it on the back because they're blocked, but it's so cute. I just saw them like yesterday because I went to Five Below, but um, oh, and then we have one of the reboot little pet shops, like the most recent reboot, which is my favorite, actually. I love these. Um, and then this really cute lizard friend from the probably G1 little pet shops, and then not Kenner, the G1 Hasbro. Um, and then this really cute sparkly Fluttershy. I don't have this one. I don't have any Fluttershies in this pose, I don't think. And then we have a Calico Critter, which y'all, I was bad. I bought a Calico Critter playset <laughs> from Japan. I, it was like really cute. I had to buy it. Um, it didn't come with any critters though, so that little friend can live there. And then we have, oh, Countess's Stuff. Is that her name? Spirit Queen? Spirit Queen Stuff, which I do have Spirit Queen, so these can be for restyles, which is really exciting because these... You're gonna die. Like, look, if you don't know this doll, look how cute the skirt is. Countess is the little sister, huh? I think Spirit Queen is the big one. So cute. Thank you so, so much, Lily. Oh my goodness. I wanna see your kittens so bad. <laughs> I'm just thinking about those kittens. And then we have a little pile. And who is this? She's like a dancing stick. Okay, so my guess is which one is... There's one that's four ever best friends that I think is MGA, and then three, we three friends I think is Mattel, and I don't have any we, of whatever the Mattel one is, which I think is we three friends. Okay, this does say Mattel 2004, so I'm gonna guess it's we three friends. Interesting. She has a dance cane, which, thank God, it was, like, tucked into her clothing so that it stayed with her. So she is intriguing. Very cool. So this has ripped the band-aid off for me in terms of, um... We three friends. No wonder it was tucked in the shirt. She could not hold it. Her outfit is really, really nice. She needs a good cleaning, but that'll be really fun. But her hair is like pristine. And look at the shoes. Amazing shoes. 10 out of 10 on those shoes. Those are spectacular. Very cool. I'm very curious about these. I'm also wondering, like, did we three friends or forever best friends come first? I know those companies rival with each other and will, like, piggyback off each other sometimes. So I'm very curious. And then we have um city girl d or just i love new york d i don't remember what the name of this one was um this is her dress from la da and this dress is really cool because it's like convertible so you can make the skirt a bubble skirt using this little drawstring in the back and there's a little bow you could stick here i love la da la da is so cool and then we have a hasbro ariel doll with her tail i don't think i have a hasbro ariel so this is probably my first one and then we have some g4 my little pony reboot ponies which or <sighs> movie toy line reboot it's complicated yeah so i don't i would have called these g4.5 but then there's actually g4.5 with like pony life these are just g4 movie or g4.25 i don't know um but i actually don't have these i only have the like the ones with the sparkly hair so thank you these are cool and then we have oh my goodness some na 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 minis i these are so cute. I'm hoping to get more soon, um, but I just got more today. Okay, 
<laughs> Look at his outfit. Okay, so we got one of the boy ones, and I actually like the Nanana boy dolls, just so you know. I know you guys know that I'm well known for not liking boy dolls, but I actually do like the boys from Nanana. I think they're really cute, especially the minis. I'm not as into like the full-sized ones, but the minis are super adorable. And then we have Miss Unicorn Sparkles, I think. And then over here we have it's a Harley Quinn. Oh wow! I have never seen this one. So this is from DC Superhero Girls, like 2018-ish. I don't remember the year, um, but they did some kind of like soft reboot where they gave them all different face sculpts and like different body sculpts. And I think this is from that. She's really cute. I love that she's wearing the outfit that my I have a DC Barbie from when I was a kid. That's Harley Quinn, and it's this like really cute Harley Quinn outfit. Huh? It's a Harley Quinn outfit. Who knew? This is really cool. I'm shocked they sewed the outfit. They didn't do the sleeves, but they sewed the whole like unitard thing, which is really cool. Um, and I love the I love the headpiece too. Huh, I've never seen this one before. Thank you. This is really cool. Oh my gosh. DC, I love this style of DC Superhero Girl, and I, I just never bought them. There was a lot um, else that I was focusing on at that time. Uh, okay, and then we have this big heavy bag. Oh, there's Countess. Spirit Queen. It's not Countess Brooke. <laughs> okay, so in here we have some OMGs. So we have Class Prez. Here's the Spirit Queen. Oh, she's in like pristine condition. I, I do think it's Spirit Queen if it is Count because I just think Countess is the perfect name but there's a lot of situations where um, the OMG has to get a lamer name than the baby or the tot had because the tot was first and the tot got the cool name so they just had to like come up with something for the OMG and then we have I don't remember her name Glimmer neon it's something that every time i see it i think it's like referring to neonlicious but it's not unless this i don't remember her name i'm so sorry um oh her outfit's in here too and then we have oh this is um oh my god what is wrong with me oh <laughs> miss celebrate this is miss celebrate with no hands these will be really good for practicing uh repaints actually i ones with no hands they're fair game for that i feel um, and rebodies too, so thank you. I'm excited because um, I really, really want to start like trying to do repaints. I want to like force myself to do it. And these would be good for partial repaints because I want to give like OMG dolls different expressions. So we have Neon Licious and Uptown Girl. And then there's also, God, what is her name? I, I'm going to know it. As soon as this video is done filming, I'm going to be like, I know it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know it off the top of my head right now. Sorry. <laughs> okay. And then there's somebody here. Oh, who are you? I recognize you. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I, I know this, this Barbara. It is Barbie, yeah. So I, I recognize this doll, but I don't remember the name of the line, but I do actually know this one. She is fascinating. <laughs> she is so cool. Okay, so there's this one. Sorry, I, 90s Barbie. I am so like, at the very bottom of how much you can know about them. Oh my goodness. I know this doll too. This is Hollywood Nails Barbie. Oh, she's so pretty. This is a early 2000s or late 90s doll. Don't know, but she, she's, she looks like that era. Wow, these dolls are pretty. I love this outfit. Look at the like crocheted skirt or I think it's probably knit. I think it's a knit skirt. Um, and she has all these cool accessories with her. Okay, she's so pretty. Her outfit has pictures of Barbie on it. Oh my gosh. They're like little like, okay, this doll's cool. So thank you so, so much, Lily. These are so cool. I'm so excited to try repainting. Um, probably won't be on camera because that gives me a lot of pressure. Every time I try to do a repaint video, it ends badly and I want to die. <laughs> um, okay. And then, oh, okay. I was wondering why this box was so heavy. The A Celebration of American Girl Story. So this is like this really cool like coffee table American Girl book. It's the ultimate visual guide. Oh my gosh, I never bought this when I worked at Tuesday morning, or not Tuesday morning, um, Ollie's when they had it, and I regretted it. Thank you, this is so cool. Oh, look at Lainey. I am so excited to read through this. I haven't read through it yet. That would have been a good idea when I was bored on register. I could have read this book. I just hadn't thought of it. Thank you, this is so cool, and this was definitely why that box felt so bottom heavy. This is gorgeous. Melody and then whoever this is are strange choices for the front. I agree with Melody because this was probably the newest historical when this was published, but like, why her? Not that she shouldn't be there. And then there's another Truly Me here and then Kaya. 
I don't know. So sad that all the Truly Me's from not that long ago were retired. <laughs> they were retired because they started a new like era of the Truly Me line, but I'll miss them. I will miss them. Thank you so much, Lily. You, I mean, you know me quite well for my channel. Okay, what is this? So this is an OMG thing, some kind of merch. It's a fashion design studio. Oh my God. It's actually for making doll clothes. All right, this is gonna be a fun video. It comes with a dress form, which is fascinating because it's not even close to the proportions of an OMG. It's Barbie proportions. <laughs> How unusual. Okay, so we will not be using the dress form. We would be using one of these. Okay, this is really cool. I wonder, do they want you to hand stitch it? This is really cool. Thank you. I've never seen this before. That I can remember anyway. Like, look, you get to do every step of the design. You get to draw the design out and then make like your mock-up of the outfit and hand sew it together or maybe glue it. I'm not sure. It does come with sewing pins and thread. This is really cool. And now I get OMG branded sewing equipment. Oh my God, this is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> Thank you so much. I am so excited to figure out what the heck this is and how it works. And I think that'll be a fun video, but who knows when that'll happen. It just depends on timing. Okay, now we need to extract this box. Open it. <laughs> okay. Thank you so, so much, Lily. These are so cool. I am I have a display for these, like, um, this specific era of Barbie that I'm actively working on, so I'm really excited to get her out there. She's so cool. I'm wondering, like, because she's in her box upside down. I assume she was unboxed, played with, and then put back in. But I have no idea. She's so cute. And look at the other dolls from this line. Really cool. I'm really curious about why they're called Hollywood Nails. Is it just because they gave her... Oh, it says there's press-on nails. But I think those were taken out, which is fine. Because I never put things on my nails. It makes me really uncomfortable. Cool. Thank you. This is so exciting. Okay. These are so cool. And I, I really want to practice for repainting like for some reason these are getting me so excited and what is your name is it like glimmer babe or something i swear to god <laughs> what is her name? anyways thank you so so much again lily and i'm so excited to look at your cats on the internet oh there was an inventory which i have now lost i think was there an inventory or am i making that up okay this said spoilers yeah <laughs> a working out teresa barbie there we go it's teresa I was gonna say Courtney. It's not Courtney. I'm just, it says Spirit Queen semi-complete. I'm so sorry. As I was packing her, my dad, my cat decided to chew her foot. Oh, well, I didn't even notice. It's not bad at all. You could boil that out, actually. That's so cute, though. <laughs> um, it's fitting. It's totally fine. Um, and all of the OMGs were found thrifting. Okay, I'm really excited to um, do some repaints on those. It's gonna be really fun. Um, two LOL surprise candy BBs that I thought you'd like, some dolls I haven't restored that I thought you may like, plus a Lottie doll dress I thought you may be missing and you wouldn't mind a dupe of, some LPS and Calico Critter cuties I found thrifting, an American Girl Collector guide I found thrifting. That was thrifted? Wow. Um, a Hollywood Nails Barbie I found thrifting. I may have forgotten to take off her price tag. Don't worry about it. Um, and an LOL OMG fashion studio I bought a while ago but realized I will probably never use from Lily. Thank you so much, Lily. And you know, She'll always be extra special because she's got that cat bite on her. It's adorable. But yeah, if you ever get chews on your dolls and it's not extreme to the point where like the foot is like coming off the body, um, you can usually like boil it or like dip it in hot water and it will like, it won't get rid of them permanently, but it will actually really help work them out. So um, especially on this soft material, it's not a lost cause at all. And she's like really, I haven't opened my spirit queen yet, but I really want to. And now I know that it is indeed spirit queen. Watch Countess not even be the little sister. Like what if I'm just making that up? <laughs> Anyways, thank you so, so much, Lily. Okay, moving on. I know exactly what this is. So this was shipped to me directly from Walmart. And um, the package says what it is. So I kind of assumed what it was straight out the bat. Uh, I thought maybe somebody had reused a box, but it looked like it was sealed from Walmart. But then, okay, so this one is from Katie. So thank you so, so much, Katie. And Katie actually um, emailed me asking about this package which again i think this was one of the packages that is from like a wrap like approximately a month ago i hear cicadas summer has arrived <laughs> i hope you guys can't hear that sorry if you can if that's a cicada it could be like a cricket or something i don't know um but anyway <laughs> um i was saving the packages for this video but okay so this is, if you can tell from the package, let me make sure that doesn't say, yeah, it's just Walmart and then my PO box info, sorry about that. Um, come on, <laughs> get out! 
so I'm shaking her up. I'm sorry, darling. Okay, so this, as you can see, it says CLB Celebration Edition DD, which is uh, Day of the Dead. This is the Maria Garcia Rainbow High doll who she actually went on sale. She might still be on sale if she is. Go check walmart.com. Um, she went on sale for like $60, I think. But it was during a time where um, you'll see there's a video coming up where um, I used my entire toy budget for that month very on this specific video that I'm doing. Um, and you'll see it's a really exciting like brand partnership that I'm doing. Um, <laughs> uh, like a partnership that I've been trying to score for a long time. So I'm really stoked about it. So I am um, really I invested a lot into that. But anyway, um, so I could not buy all of these dolls that had gone on sale that I was really excited about. And then mysteriously, this doll turned up in my P.O. box. And I was like, because I could tell what it was from the packaging. And I was like, um, um, and then Katie emailed me letting me know that she had sent the doll. Okay, so it's Maria. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Okay. Wow, okay, so here is Maria all in her packaging. The packaging is extremely impressive. I have seen Maria twice before because my friend Angel has her, and then my friend um, New Royalty that I saw in New York City also has her, but I've never seen the outer box like this. I've only ever seen like it open. This is really cool. I don't want to untie the bow. I feel like I won't be able to retie it as pretty. Wow, okay. Well, maybe I could take, there's like tape up here. Maybe I could like work it off of here. Probably not. And they're really nice for making like really weak tape on here. I want to show the doll's face to you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay. So again, I'm pretty sure that this doll is on sale. If if she's not on sale anymore, I apologize for getting your hopes up. But um, sorry, I want to keep that bow in place because I'm actually like horrifically bad at tying bows. And this is like gorgeous. There we go. Then, okay, so <gasps> the light turned itself on. Oh, that's so cute. Wow. Okay, so this is actually like... It's not just a dust cover for the box. It's like a little thing you can put behind your doll on display if you unbox her. Okay, it says Dia de los Muertos, and it says in honor of her Mexican heritage and the traditions of Dia de los Muertos, uh, Maria Garcia designed her very own custom gown and calavera handbag. It says skull. It's translating it for you. Um, it's her favorite day of the year because it celebrates her two passions, familia and fashion. Very pretty. I love the artwork. Spectacular. Okay, let me this over here very carefully that's actually my rainbow high area okay and then here she is oh her face is perfect wow okay so i'm def like i'm definitely gonna be unboxing this doll how do you activate the light it's like activating itself but i don't want to i don't want it to run out by turning it on too much wow okay sorry i want to take off the dust cover so that you guys can see so pretty oh look celebration edition I hope they do more celebration edition stuff. Oh, and then this comes out too. Wow, so this is a really complicated box. Yeah, so I think the retail cost was like, I don't know what they were thinking with this doll when, <laughs> when I saw that, um, but I was planning to get her for the full price, but it just never ended up happening because there was so much going on during that time period. And then she went on sale and I was like, oh my God, I can't get her, no. Um, so this is so sweet of you, Katie, for sending her to me. I really appreciate it. Oh, she's so cool. I'm really excited to get her out of the packaging. I'll probably do like a joint review of her and Roxy since they're both behind at this point, but I'd still like to get a video out on them. And she has a really nice sombrero too. Oh my gosh, this is really cool. How do you turn off the lights? I, I moved the instructions away from myself, so now I can't, okay. How do you turn it off? It doesn't even say. Okay, well, it's okay. I will. Turn it off later. See, there's a little battery thing here. For, oh, there's a button. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But thank you so, so much, Katie. This is so cool. You can see the lights up in there. You guys actually can't see it very well, but the, the lights are still on. Trust me. Okay, I'm going to set her here. <laughs> Katie, you are so sweet. Like, seriously, thank you. I'm really, I'm really excited to have her because I was pretty convinced I was going to miss out because of... I have a pretty strict doll budget that I didn't want to deviate from and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna be good. I have to punish myself because if you spend more than you're supposed to and you miss out on a good sale, that's on you, you know? Um, but anyway, thank you so, so much, Katie. So we have two more packages um, before we get to the, like, one of four situation. Um, so this one is from- okay, wait, you're not reading that, Brooke. Sorry, I already cut the tape so that it would be fun. Who is that? 
There's a little friend holding a note. Is this who I think it is? Is this the collector mermaid Barbie from... Hold on, we'll get there. We will get there. Um, <laughs> I really like that doll, whoever she is. Okay. It says, Jello, my name is Chantel. You can say my name on camera. I'm so happy I found your YouTube. It helped me be okay with adult doll collector, being an adult doll collector. Normally I would hide my dolls from the world, but now my Monster High and Rainbow High dolls are everywhere. Thank you. No problem. And P.S. I love your cats. And I found some things that you and your boyfriend might like at our flea market. And I put together a Tinkerbell doll for you because she didn't have all her things. So I made her into a surprise doll for you. I'm really excited to see that Tinkerbell. Okay, so going in. Uh, Brett has left the room, but I will give him all of his stuff off camera. Okay, so I think this is one of the collector Barbies, which is a very surprising flea market find, if so. And she is beautiful. I really like her. Her tail is really impressive. And she has all these like really cool, like metallic plated pieces. And her hair is very interesting. I don't know what the material is, but I'm It'll be a fun restoration project, although it does have tinsel, which complicates restoration quite a bit. But it's, I think this is just going to take conditioner and warm water. She's really pretty. This is a beautiful doll. Thank you. I'm like really, sorry, I, I saw her immediately when I opened the package, so I wasn't sure like how to react. I was like, who are you? <laughs> okay. And then we have some little things here. So what is this? We have a little card. Okay, so there's a card with a little seal of some sort on it. And then a little envelope. And then we have this Lisa Frank sticker collection. Oh my gosh! <gasps> this is one of those things. People always suggest these to me in my comments. Um, and I hear you. I just don't even know where to begin. This is where you can put stickers on here and then you can still use them because this is like sticker paper. So they're like reusable. So, oh my god, that is so cool. Thank you. This is really cool, actually. I'm really excited about this. Wow. Okay. And then we have some stickers here. So we have a Rainbow High sticker and some little Disney princesses, a little Wonder Woman, some Powerpuff Girls, and a little Psyduck. Very cute. And then we have some little Pokemon stickers from, I don't know, just says Nintendo. Um, very, very cute. All Gen 1? Yeah, they're all Gen 1. I really like the Gengar art. And, like, the the straight-on, like, Bulbasaur that's just looking at you. Cute. <laughs> and then there's a little thing that might go to something else. We'll see. We have a Hello Kitty patch. Chantel, these are so cute. Thank you. And then this is a Monster High book I have never seen before. It says Monster High Rescue. Track down Twyla. Interesting. I don't know this. It's from 2017. That would explain why. Cool. Okay. Well, now I get to do some light reading tonight on a new Monster High book that I've never seen before. So thank you for introducing this to me. The artwork is very pretty. I see that it's reboot. I didn't know they did reboot novels. So this is really cool. And then we have some Pokemon. So we have, a, oh my gosh, what is this from? It's a squishy, like a, like a stress ball of Victini. Okay. Brett is going to love this. I'm excited to give this to him. Thank you so much Chantel for thinking of him. And then we have a little like happy meal toy of Pikachu where you can like wind him up and I think he'll, I gotta figure out how to do it, but I think you wind him up and he'll go. This Victini is really cool. And then we have one of the little charms from the Rainbow High tins, which is also where that Rainbow High sticker was from. And I can use this on one of my bags now. And then we have a little mini bloom from the Five Surprise Toys. What are they called? It's just like mini brands, mini brands toys. What happened to my brain? And then we have a little styling head. Thank you, Chantel. These are, oh my gosh, hi. So this is Rainbow High merch that I have like I don't have. I've never seen it in person. I just never bought it online. If that's where it's from, I don't recall. Um, but I've seen people talk about this. This is the fashion sketchbook. Um, so you can see this is really cute. So I have like similar stuff to this, but I don't have this one. Cute. I have like a, I have one that's like, it came in a set basically. Oh, and oh, hello. Some little Lisa Frank stickers, which I'm going to put in my Lisa Frank sticker collection book. Yeah, I have quite a few Lisa Frank stickers, so I think that little sticker collection book will be really fun. But I think what I'm going to use it for is I have those little dress up stickers that you guys have sent me before that I love, and I've been scared to use them, and I could use them in there so that I could still reuse them or like move them around. Um, but thank you so much, Chantal. This is really cool. And then there's something here as well. 
Okay, we have a printed, I don't know, I think it's supposed to be a Disney character, but I'm not sure which one, but it's like a cool steampunk artwork of like, a, I think it's a coloring page, it's super cool. And then, okay, there's a lot going on in here. Wow. Oh, hello, so we have a Snap Stars doll. Oh my gosh, so this is, again, related to the website. Sorry, I've been, I have not been sleeping much recently because I've been working on this website so much. Um, but one of the friends working on the website, I don't know if they would want me to say their name, um, had like completely did Snap Stars. So Snap Stars is like fully on the website and you can like, the, the feature of the website, by the way, is that not only is it a database for dolls, but you can actually add the dolls to your collection or your wish list. So like you have your own public profile that has that stuff on it, or you can make it private if you want to. Um, and I've been looking more at Snap Stars because of them being on the website and it's super cool. Um, so this is really exciting. Thank you. So this is my, I think, third Snap Stars doll now. Um, I need to build the display with them. I only had the, the custom Dawn that someone sent me on display thus far. And then we have, what is this outfit? So I think, I think I know what Barbie this is, but maybe this is the outfit that she came in and it's just a different one. I have no idea, but she, her outfit is really nice quality, actually. Um, very interesting. She looks like a Dreamtopia. Maybe she's rebodied. Because this is a made-to-move body. That would make sense, actually. I think this is a rebodied Dreamtopia mermaid, if I had to guess, but I'm not sure. Extremely soft hair. Really pretty. Really like this face sculpt and face screening. Thank you, Chantel. She's really cool. And her outfit is really cool. If you put this on her, I really like it with her hair. Very pretty. It's like a witchy outfit. Love it. And then we have this bag of Bratz accessories. Oh my goodness. And there's a little belt in here, actually. What is... Oh, I think that's like a Shopkin. And then we have Alola's Pet Shop Mouse, who's pretty cute. I don't think I have this one, so she'll be going right onto the display. She does have a little stain that I'm going to try to work out of her, though. And then we have... Is this a Hatchimal? This is a Chameleon Hatchimal. Are there Hatchimal reptiles? Uh-oh. Okay, never mind. Don't tell me. <laughs> so, I think this is a Hatchimal. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. I don't know these ones 100%, but they're really cute. Little Chameleon friend! Cute! All right. Oh my God. Tiana. Okay. So this is the Disney princess comics, Tiana in her, like one of the almost their dress is not this color, but it's supposed to be the almost their dress. Um, I really wanted to get this one, but I just like didn't notice for some reason. Thank you, Chantel. Oh my goodness. Sorry. I love Tiana so much. And almost there is specifically like one of my favorite Disney songs of all time. And I just love that outfit on her and they just don't make merch of it for some reason. It's really cute. I guess they, Disney doesn't like to make like period accurate dolls necessarily. They just might like to make their like fun princess ones. But like, I want to see this really beautiful dress on Tiana. Thank you. Oh my gosh. This is so exciting. I know, I know this is something so silly and small, but like, this is something I really, really wanted to get. Um, but I just, like, the Disney Princess Comics blind boxes, I don't really see them anymore. Because I know what line that one was from, and it was one of the more recent ones. Because I had bought a few when they first came out. I don't even know. Um, and then we have this... Oh, I don't remember. It's from the same line as the Ghoul to Bat uh, Draculaura, but I don't remember what this one is called. But it's this really cool, like, transforming Generation 2 Claudine doll. And this is really cool. I've never seen this one secondhand before in a way that I could get her. Um, wow. Okay, so I guess you move the tail to transform her. Um, and you can see that. So cool. So it's supposed to be like a werewolf transformation, except Claudine is always a werewolf. So they just kind of made it this cool outfit. Uh, I really like the little wolf carvings on the back of it. This is a really cool doll. And this is our only Claudine doll with a tail. I did not know she had a tail. And it's built into her body, too. It's not just an accessory. Although it does look like she's wearing some kind of outfit. This is a really cool doll. Thank you. I'm excited. I love Generation 2. I really want to get them on display because right now I just have a couple of Gen 2 dolls on display um, because my Gen 2 dolls would have gone where G3 is right now. So I need to figure that out. We're overhauling a small part of the Monster High collection at some point. So we'll see. Um, but thank you so much. She's so cool. Oh my goodness. Okay. And then, oh my gosh. There's some little stuff that I missed, but I'm seeing Tinkerbell already. Oh my gosh, let's check her out. So this is a Jax Pacific Tinkerbell that has been customized. Did you make the, the outfit? She's really cool. Okay, she's on a stand. I want to make sure I don't hurt her. Is she tied in at all? Okay, she got stuck on something. Oh, okay. So she's wearing this really cool dress and bow. She's so cute. 
cute! It looks like the butterfly- Ooh, something just fell, sorry. It looks like the butterfly bow is from, like, a separate doll. So this is one of the, um, Jack Specific Late Line Tinkerbell dolls, like Pixie Prince or something. I don't know exactly which one this is. Honestly, it could be Pixie Prince, I have no idea. And she's wearing Fairytopia shoes, I believe. I guess these could actually be Disney Fairy shoes, but they look a lot like Fairytopia shoes. She's so cute. Look, she has, like, a little watch on, which Tinkerbell totally would. Oh, she's so cute. And she's one of the articulated ones. Yeah, so a collecting goal that I have that I really regret not working on when they were in stores is that um, there's all these really cool Tinkerbell dolls that, like, they're not related to the movie or anything. They're just, like, the designers at Jack Specific just got to have fun and make their own Tinkerbell dolls. Those are the coolest dolls ever. I've been buying them. I have two that I've bought already um, that I'm just, like, slowly collecting them. It's just, it's something that I haven't really been talking about. But um, thank you. She's going to go proudly on display next to them and I'm going to make her some wings and she will be fabulous. I'm definitely going to make her wings based off of this bow that you put on her because I think that'll be super cool. And that should be a video. I'm planning, I didn't have all my materials for my Cricut anymore. For some reason, like the supplies, like the mats you use to make stuff on your Cricut have just been missing. Like, I don't know what happened to them when I moved, unfortunately. They might still be at my old house. There were a few boxes we left behind, so maybe, I don't know. Um, but I had to buy some new ones. And yeah, so she will most likely be featured in a wing making video. So thank you so, so much. I have a bunch of Tinkerbell dolls that need wings because I'll buy any Tinkerbell doll that doesn't have wings because I can make the wings myself and I can make them better than Jax did. So I don't care. <laughs> okay. And then there's some stuff in here too that was alongside Tinkerbell. So we have a little Pets Alive flamingo. Is this the toilet one? Or no, this is not a flamingo. Oh, it is. Frankie the Funky Flamingo. This is not the Toilet Flamingo, but the Toilet Flamingo is very iconic. And then we have a candy fanny pack for a Barbie, a Littles Pet Shop mouse, and a Real Littles shoe box? I've never had one of these before. Okay, so I really was curious if these fit on dolls, and I know people have said that they do, but I don't know if they fit in a way that I would like, so let's see. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Well, I think, I think um, Chantel might have put stuff in here. Okay, so we have some little shoes. This little candy bag that matches with that fanny pack. This really cute little cup. Wow. Okay. And we have a little, oh my gosh, a little cola bottle. What are, are these from this? I don't think so. Oh, Amanita Nightshade's little dress. I love this dress. And then we have, I think this is a Tinkerbell jacket. Like a little shrug, which is very cute. And they were all in the real little shoe box. Cool. I prefer that to the real little shoes, honestly. Oh my gosh, look! A little squishy corgi. Oh, he's so cute. What is he from? I love him. He feels so cool. I don't know. Sorry, he's really cool. Okay. And then we have a Rainbow High bag, I think. Oh, it's the Rainbow High tissue paper. Smart to reuse it. With Bluebell from my <laughs> Thank you. Sorry to shake you, Bluebell. Thank you. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. My dolls can collect ponies too. I love this. Okay. And then we have, oh my goodness. Little mermaid buttons. It's from Dress It Up and it says Mermaid Kisses. And as much as I love mermaids, that sea turtle is calling my name. Adorable. These would be really fun for, I still really want to do like a Decora Kawaii, Decora Kawaii. Sorry, I'm not going to pronounce it right. I'm from Texas. I'm going to pronounce things stupid. Um, but I really want to do a Decora Kawaii Rainbow High doll because I had plans to do one. And then when I was filming that video, the hair color that I chose didn't really work with what I was doing. So I kind of scrapped it. Um, but these would be super fun for that. And then we have a couple more things in here. So we have the little, like, it's like a strap thing to put on your keys or whatever from the Rainbow High tin. And then we have another little candy bag. Let me know what these are from. I have no idea. And then we have a Princess Twilight little G4 figure, which is so cool. I have the Fluttershy one so they can display together. Oh my god, hello! The Littlest Pet Shop from the Five Surprise. Oh my goodness, let me get this box out of the way. Sorry, I got the box out of the way. So Zuru got access to do Littlest Pet Shops and the Five Surprise things, but I never found one. Thank you. Oh my god, I'm so excited about this. Look at him in there. I'm wondering if the um the surprise is actually in there or not. I mean, the surprise is always something silly. It's like, so I don't really mind if they didn't do it, but like, I'm keeping this in box. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm excited. That is so... I love that era of Little Spatch Ops, so I was so like shocked that they did it with the five surprise because not only are those not in stores right now, so it doesn't even make sense, but also you'd think they would do the more popular Little Spatch Ops, you know? So, um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, 
thank you so 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 much Chantel this is so sweet and I love that you like thought of me and Brett when you went out like I really appreciate that that is so sweet and I love this custom Tinkerbell I actually have a custom Tinkerbell that a friend made for me years ago too so they can display proudly together um that is so so fun because the other one has like a gold color scheme and this one has more of like a dark green but with a little bit of gold so I think they'll look really cute next to each other and this is so sweet thank you so so much you are so sweet and I'm so excited to fix these dolls up and get them on display hopefully you'll see them uh, like littered around in the doll room as we progress and especially if I do start that dollhouse project soon you'll be seeing a lot of these little mini brands some of the ones that you sent will definitely be prominent in those houses because the little pet shops oh my gosh yeah we're, I really want to do like a like a vintage toy store of some sort with my dolls too like I think that would be so fun <laughs> okay thank you so so much Chantel we have one more package before we get to the four in one situation um so this says Brooke which is me and it says open the card first so we'll do that let's get in there Alrighty. Oh, I just realized I think there's another box we need to um do in this video before this actually sorry I will go retrieve that it just it just occurred to me that I think there's one more box for this video that is somewhere else I will go look for it um because I think I remember I thought that it was a different package and I almost opened it so I cut the box open and then I realized it was PO box and I was like uh oh and then I put it away and I haven't opened that yet so I need to go get that one too um but anyway that that's a side besides the point but I'm saying that there's probably gonna be another package before that one okay now let's get in here so we have a really cute little postcard sort of thing it's not actually a postcard but it says hi Brooke happy holidays I really enjoy your videos and all of your tips on how to fix and restyle your pre-loved dolls and I'm including a few in this package thank you um also thank you for explaining what doll variants are when I rebought some of my childhood dolls I gave away I couldn't figure out why they looked wrong some of the 80s and 90s Barbies had variant face molds and now my collection has multiple versions of beloved dolls from Rachel that's so cool yeah variants are one of those things where I just say it in a video and I, because I know what it is I just assume everybody else does so I'm really glad that I thought to make that variants video to just kind of explain that and I would love to do more uh, with that especially again I just keep the doll website is something that I haven't been mentioning on the channel, but I'm really excited about. Um, the doll website, we're going to be, like, really heavily listing, like, there are variants of this doll. This is what they look like, stuff like that, if we can. Um, it's all based on, like, if people have that knowledge and they put it on the website. So, um, yeah. Anyway. Um, let's see. Thank you so much, Rachel. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, they have little... <laughs> they have little sticky notes that explain what they are. Okay. Oh. I dropped. But, um, that's probably this one. Okay, so this one says, Hawaiian fun skipper in original outfit, some neck stress, but should be fun for display. No problem. Plenty of my dolls have neck stress. So I don't even worry about it. Oh, how cute are you? Okay, so this is Hawaiian fun skipper. So I do think that other doll was a teen skipper. And I, skipper from this era specifically just has like the best connect line. It's just so soft. Okay, she is so, so cute. And her outfit is so, it's so sweet. It's so simple. Really fun. Is the grass skirt a separate piece from the swimsuit or no? I think it is. Pretty. I love the colors on this swimsuit. Very, very cute. And her hair is so soft. And she will display very nice next to Hula Hair Barbie. I think anyway. We'll see. Maybe I'll hate them next to each other. I don't know. <laughs> okay. And then it says the iconic 90s Hollywood hair Barbie missing her original outfit restyled as Lavender Bride Barbie. Okay. Interesting. So. Oh my gosh. Is this a fashion pack or was it another doll's outfit? Oh, she even has new earrings. So I. Wow. Okay. So. Hollywood hair Barbie. Oh, her hair is so... Yeah, she was like, look at that hair. So, so soft. I've never seen someone in Hollywood that has hair like Rapunzel length, but I appreciate... Okay, this dress is like stunning. I kind of want to like pin it so it'll stay like that, but I do like the... I mean, it's a doll from the 80s or the 90s. The sleeves make sense, but like... That's like wedding dress. That's like really pretty if you put it off the shoulder. It's pretty regardless though. The lavender color they chose is so like delicate and pretty or you chose is this a fashion pack or is it from a doll I'm not sure the hair is so so soft oh my gosh love it I really need to do some videos on re restoring connect one hair because um no matter how many times I say to heat test hair I get some comments sometimes that are like I destroyed a doll while washing it and I'm like that would be connect one um so I really want to make like a really good video explaining like firmly what connect one is and how to care for it uh, but I have like my totally hair barbie that I got so that'll be a really fun video so I hope you guys enjoy that one when it comes. All right, and then we have a mystery Barbie mermaid, and maybe she's missing a fin. Oh, I think I, maybe a Dreamtopia? 
Interesting. She probably missing a fin. I think they come off, but no big deal. Can make her a little fabric one or something. Oh, she's really pretty. Her face sculpt is one that I'm not used to, but maybe it's just with Barbie, the screening makes it look like a totally different sculpt sometimes. She's cute. I really like her outfit. Maybe she's one of the color reveal ones. I guess you would be able to tell from what's in the seams, huh? I don't see anything in the seams, so maybe she's not a color reveal. I don't know. Um, if anybody knows who she is, let us know in the comments, please. Thank you. Um, and the, the fin, it has like a plastic component, but it's really just a big piece of fabric, so I could totally just make her one. And she can go hang out with my mermaid display. I have a whole mermaid display, which I keep taking down and rebuilding. I need to like secure what I want that to look like. In fact, we have bathing suit from 1980s Berry Wear Strawberry Shortcake fashion, fashion Pack. Okay, cool. And then skipper slash Stacy shoes that should fit your lovely la or lady lovely. Lo I was trying to say lovely lady locks, lady lovely locks, lady lovely locks, lady lo lady lovely locks and Raven waves dolls. Thank you, and that is a good tip. I had no idea skipper dolls fit or skipper shoes fit. Yeah, I, I'm so excited because those lady lovely locks dolls. I, well, my lady lovely locks doll. I have two, right? Um, they can go on display in the pony room that I'm working on. It's not a pony room, but they, they, they like stylistically fit with the ponies, I feel like, because they're from the same time period, so they're going to be on display in there. So I'm really excited to finally get them on display. Oh, and this is Princess Primrose from G1 My Little Pony with a comb. Oh my gosh, the original comb. Cool. Okay, let's see her. Okay, she's perfect. <gasps> Did you restore her? If so, explain, because the tinsel. Okay. Oh my god. Cutie. So here's like a perfect Princess Primrose. Wow. Very, very pretty. From the My Little Pony G1 Princess line. And then we have a comb. Which, if this is her original comb, I do not know this comb. They also came with these weird little creatures, didn't they? They came with the bush woolies. Um, <laughs> sorry for cutting away. I know I said that that was the last package before the four but I lied so if you remember I did a like a p video about a package that I bought from Instagram or an Instagram seller and for some reason I thought that this package from my PO box was one so I opened it up and I was like oh the note and I started reading the note and I was like oh wow the seller knew who I was I had no idea and then I realized oh my god this is from my PO box I'm an idiot so <laughs> yeah sorry about that so this box was already open but I haven't seen what's inside I just read the beginning of the note and then I was like oh um but um oh yeah and Rachel thank you so so much sorry I I realized I was like I, I need to go get that package I totally forgot because it was somewhere separate thank you so so much Rachel I'm so excited to introduce all of these new ladies into my collection and get them on display I'm just so this dress is just so pretty it's such a delicate color really cool. I mean, maybe it's faded over time if this wasn't the original release color. I don't know, but I like it. I think it's very pretty. Ronaldo is back to smell your package. Rachel, dolls on the go, um, specifically. Oh, well, Chantel's package too. I think Ronaldo smells y'all's cats if you guys have cats. <laughs> okay, so we have this note from this package that I totally accidentally cut, so I'm so sorry about that. Um, I watched your doll collecting finances video after I posted, after I wrote this, lol. Okay. It says, you can read this on camera. Oh my god, look at that Tinkerbell sticker. It's like early Disney fairies, but also sparkly. Okay. Hi, Brooke. My name is Tammy. I'm 36 and I collect many different toys. Yeah, so I got here and I was like, oh, I guess this person knows who I am because I thought it was that Instagram seller. I don't know how the wires got crossed in my head, but I was like, hmm. So yeah, my bad. I'm glad I remembered to get it in this video. I was gonna feel awful if I forgot. Um, I collect My Little Pony, LOL, OMG, Gem and the Holograms, Monster High, Ever After High, Rainbow High, Lil's Patch Up, and much more. Same. <laughs> um, I don't actually collect Gem though. I used to have one and I really liked her, but my dad sold her. Um, I have been watching your channel for quite some time. I'm not a subscriber as I don't have a login on YouTube. I think Facebook is the only social media I have. Totally fine. No problem. <laughs> um, um, recently I got into collecting Winx Club. I think this was the point in the note where I saw I only have Facebook and I was like, wait, I bought this from an Instagram seller. And then I was like, oh my God, this is not the package. Cause I had the Instagram stuff shipped to my PO box. Cause the, one of the foundational principles, like purposes of the PO box is that I can buy stuff online and have it shipped there without people knowing who I am. Cause at this point, like, oh, if Brooke bought something for me, it opens it in her video. Now I have her address and legal name. So PO box. Anyway, um, I recently got into collecting Winx Club dolls. Thanks to you. Woo! I only have three dolls and I noticed they're quite expensive. Do you collect them when they weren't that expensive? Yeah, so a lot of people will ask me like, where did you get this doll? Like, how did you get them? And I'm like, mm, I bought them when they were at Toys R Us. But the best way to get Wings Club dolls is, unfortunately, 
is Europe. So you need to find somebody in Europe who is willing to help you shop on secondhand sites in Europe. You can get like Jack specific ones, you can get Mattel ones, you can get Woody toys. There's a lot of competition for them, but you're much more likely to find good deals on there than you are in the US. Like um, the US Wings market is a train wreck disaster. It's pretty bad in Europe too, but there's more dolls to go around in Europe because the show's from Italy. Um, so that's my advice to you. Um, since you're on Facebook, try to join like one of the Facebook groups. I actually am the admin of the Wings Club dolls swap shop thing because um, the other admins are gone at this point, but so I still kind of watch the group and make sure there's not like weird scams going on. But um, you could post in there asking European people if they would help you. I don't know. Um, also, how many are there to collect? Oh, um, every line has quite a few. So the smallest lines would be Mattel and Jack specific, and they each have around 100, I think. I don't know about Mattel, but Jack's has like 80 something maybe. Um, and then Witty Toys, Old Witty has not that many, maybe like it's under 100, but it's quite a few anyway. Um, I think it's under 100. I'm actually working on in the doll database, Winx is my section, and I'm working on it, but I can't find stock photos for them. So anyway, if any of you guys have European or Mattel Winx Club doll stock photos, please, please contact me. <laughs> please, I need them. They don't exist anymore. <laughs> so if anybody just happened to save those years ago, like I used to, but I lost that computer, I would really appreciate it. Anyway, um, yeah, there's got to be like over a thousand Winx Club dolls. So you, you have your work cut out for you if you're trying to collect them all like me. <laughs> um, I remember you mentioned in a video that you had an opportunity to move to Toronto. It was a good choice you chose to stay in the U.S. since being a doll collector like myself, it's so expensive here. The cheapest Rainbow High doll I saw on sale was $30, where most are $50 plus. Yeah, um, it was a cool job opportunity. It was like a really like, that would, when I was five years old, if you had told me about the job opportunity, I would have like actually died. Like it, it's that sort of like childhood pipe dream, but it wasn't, this job that I have right now is also a dream job, but it's, it's hard to explain, but it's this specific fossil locality that I was obsessed with as a child, and it would have been really cool to work for that. But getting paid the amount that they would have paid me there would legitimately have been unlivable. Um, and I would have probably just driven to Buffalo. Can you do that from Toronto? Can't you just drive to Buffalo and go shopping for dolls? Because Buffalo actually has amazing, amazing stores for dolls. I've, I really do miss Buffalo. I never thought I would say that. Um, but I had like really cool doll friends there, and it, it's a pretty cool place. Um, Especially those, because um, if you look on my channel, like, from a year ago, you can see um, me doll hunting in Buffalo, and I find all kinds of really cool stuff there. Um, and you can see what stores I went to and stuff. Um, I enjoy watching your room updates and doll hunts. I love your shelves. Sadly, they're nowhere to be found, so I use black shelves from Lowe's, and risers won't work on them. Oh, the ones with the holes in them? Uh, Y'all have Walmart, right? There are some really nice shelves at Walmart that Angel Loza uses, and I just started using, that are actually really helpful. Um, but if you want to use risers on those shelves, you could use... Um, like put a piece of cardboard down or like plastic or something so that there's no holes anymore. Um, but I've seen people use those shelves in a way that they really enjoy and like have made look really nice. Um, LOL dolls are squished on the shelves, haha. <laughs> I could make this letter longer, but I can always just write another. Keep being you and never change. Love, Tammy. And all items are my doubles. I hope some are new to your collection. Thank you so, so much, Tammy. Yeah, I realize you're from Canada. Um, yeah, because that's why I thought this package was from that Instagram seller, because the Instagram seller was also from Canada. Um, so I just figured, I don't know. Um, but yeah, Wings Club dolls are tricky. It's really difficult, but again, like just find someone overseas. Also Facebook Marketplace. Canada, actually, when I first started collecting Winks, um, when I started collecting the overseas ones, um, interestingly, I found some Italian exclusive ones from Canada on eBay for good prices. That was 10 years ago at this point, you know, but unusual so possibly they were released I would think in Quebec maybe um I don't know how easy it is for people in Toronto what province is that Alberta I don't know whatever t sorry I don't know Canada <laughs> I've never been to Canada um whatever province Toronto is in I don't know how easy it is for you guys to like buy stuff from other provinces but that's an idea um to think of anyway. Good luck. It's really, it's one of those things with any kind of overseas shopping for dolls, it's really tricky, which is why I don't really collect a lot of Winks anymore. I really want to, but it's really difficult for me to get a hold of them. Um, even though I do have a lot of really good connections to be able to get them, it's just, um, I have so many now that it's really hard to find ones that I don't already have for good prices, so, um, but a lot of mine I have gotten from, like, Europe, for example, for very good prices. I've bought some from, like, Australia before, Brazil. Like, you just have to find places, like, that, that Wings Facebook group actually does have a lot of great deals. If you're trying to collect the Mattel ones, then no, <laughs> there's no good deals to be had anywhere, because those are, um, very over-collected. Not over-collected, but, like, over-hyped, I guess? They're really cool dolls, but, um, 
yeah, they're, they're unfortunately treated as like a vanity symbol for a lot of people who don't know anything about Winx, which is fine. You can enjoy the dolls if you don't like Winx, but I don't know. They're kind of weird, so it's really hard to get Mattel Winx dolls, unfortunately. I've tried my best to show that there's lots of really cool Winx dolls that exist, but unfortunately, falls on deaf ears. Anyway, um, yeah, so thank you so much, Tammy. Oh my god, hi, what? A birth flower generation one. Whoa, so this looks like um, maybe a Jacob's Ladder, but I'm not sure. Sorry, I'm having a lot of trouble with the lighting, so um, <laughs> thank you, Lily, for helping me white balance. Um, uh, Tammy, thank you. I only have one or I, I two of these birth flower G1s, and they're so cool, uh, but I just never find them, so I really appreciate this. Thank you so much. I think they were mail order, so they're kind of hard to find now um, in general. And then we also have... Her name's... Fizzy, right? Oh my god, why am I blanking on her name? Twinkle-eyed question mark. Um, really pretty pony. Oh my goodness. And her hair is actually in really good shape. It just needs to be a little bit hydrated. Oh, she's so pretty. I think this one's in way better condition than mine also. Uh, and then we have... Oh, hello! This is from Pinkie Pie's Boutique. So, I don't remember what year it was. Probably like 2013. They did a... Uh, my Little Pony, so Hasbro did a Target collab. Like, a Target exclusive collab. They actually did several throughout the run of My Little Pony. Um, but... For one year, they did Pinkie Pie's Boutique, where it was this black, white, and pink themed Pinkie Pie line. And there's an Equestria Girls, which I do have, but her her head got, like, really yellowed somehow. I don't know. Um, but I love this line. And I don't have any of the actual, like, brushables from it, so thank you. This is really cool. This is a fashion style, but still, I don't have any from this line. And I don't even think I have a fashion style Pinkie Pie. No, I think I do now. Change my mind. <laughs> Change my answer. Okay, and then we have, oh my goodness, one of the little teeny tiny G1 babies. This is look like little pony wear accessories inside i think this is one of the twins oh little like little socks the cutie mark so cute same color scheme as yum yum which is one of my top three um g1 my little ponies thank you the g1s these are so cool and then we have star swirl from generation three we have oh my goodness there's so many little pet shops in here from the era that I we'll get there hold on okay <laughs> we have some My Little Pony, so we have a G4 cart of some sort, probably for the train, if I had to guess, which I do have. Um, oh my goodness, okay. I only, I did not have, well, okay, so I found one of these at the Goodwill bins, and I was like, I don't even know where to begin to watch this, because the Goodwill bins, like, she was very gross, but I bought her, and, because the Goodwill bins are very cheap. If you don't know what that is, some areas, so when I lived in Austin, they had one, it's like a Goodwill outlet or something, I don't know what it's called, but there's just these giant bins of stuff that they don't put on the normal store shelves, um, and you can find some really cool stuff in there. Like, I found a Generation 1 My Little Pony playset. I didn't buy it, though, because it was really destroyed, but really weird find because things get destroyed in the bins but anyway there was a Pinkie Pie just coated in slime and I was like I don't even know what to do with this so I put her in my washing machine I don't know what I was thinking um but yeah she did not make it her hair got very destroyed um but yay now she's back to life <laughs> yeah, didn't want to admit that anywhere but don't do that is the takeaway message because the heat will destroy the doll and also the the tumbling effect we have one of the Apple family members, probably Apple Fritter, I don't know, um, Star Song from G3.5 Ponyville, Pinkie Pie, probably an Apple family member. I think I have this one entombed in soap, and I never used the soap because I thought it was funny, so now I have her. <laughs> and then, oh, hello, a Fluttershy in that pose that we got that glittery one in earlier. And then we have uh, Flim or Flam. I'm assuming Flam because I would think Flim would be on this side, but I don't know. Um, one of the brothers. Oh my goodness. And then there's some enchantables. So I don't have this deer one. And I think these are alternate outfits for Patter and blanking on the skunk one's name. But I do not have this deer. I think she came in a multi-pack. I think these are ones from a multi-pack actually. And they have different outfits. But don't quote me on that because I don't 100% remember. And I also do not remember this girlie's name. But I love enchantables. They just aren't sold in the US anymore. Well, they kind of are on Amazon. So I haven't really been able to get them unfortunately because they are very prone to having messed up faces. So I'm sad. I know people like really lambast Enchantables and hate them, but like I actually super like Enchantables. I think they're really cool. And for what they are and the price that they're at, I think they're pretty spectacular. Sorry y'all, the white balance is really weird because of the, the when we started this video there was lighting behind me and now there's not. Um, sorry about that. Um, I will always struggle with white balance for the rest of my life. I can never figure it out. Um, sorry. Anyway, um, we have some little pet shops, which I just set up my little pet shop shelves, so this is so exciting. Thank you. Okay, first of all, who is this? I think this is a Kenner Little's Pet Shop, and I don't, well, I have a, like a couple. 
Um, oh my goodness. So we have a Kenner Lewis pet shop. I'm pretty sure anyway. I don't see copyright info, so that's a guess. Oh, there. No, this is Beethoven's second. Okay, what is this? <laughs> I do not know, but he's very cute. And then we have... This bunny has a name. I do not remember the name. Uh, but, like, isn't this Sugar Sprinkles friend from the show? And I, I have, like, almost no little fetch outs from the show era. Oh, my God. <laughs> Who are you, little cuttlefish friend? Or, like, a little octopus. So this is also from the, the show era. The ones with these eyes are from the show era. And I don't have a lot from that era. And then we have a postcard pet's deer. Very cute. A glitter little... Is, are these Shih Tzus? What are these supposed to be? Really cute. I actually only have one dog in this sculpt so far. So this is my second one. And then we have a fairy. I When the fairies came out, I was still kind of into Lil's Pet Shop. Well, I was always into them, but I just decided to stop buying them at some point. Because I was like, I'm, I'm grown up, even though I was still actively playing with them. And I was also like 10 years old. But anyway, that was when these came out. And unfortunately, that means I skipped them. So like, thank you. I really, really want to collect these. Um, I do have a few so far. And then this ferret, who I actually don't think that I have. I might. I'll have to look. Um, and then this little pink and green and blue. Yeah, blue feet, green crest, and pink body lizard. I do not have this one. A saber-toothed cat. So this is from, like, the early show era, I think, before they switched the eye. Very cute. Probably not a saber tooth, actually. Probably, like, a jaguar or something, but very, very cute. And then this is from the... Wait. Ah, I think this is show era, actually. I think I remember this dog from the show now that I think about it. But, any, I, again, like, early show era before they switched the eyes. I know people weren't into these eyes, which I don't mind them. I think they're cute, um, these ones. But, um... The early ones for the show, I'm pretty sure, had these eyes. Like, here's Vinny. I'm like, what if this isn't his name? Vinny Terrio. He likes to dance. I like this guy. He's cool. I actually didn't have any Vinnies, except I think I have one new in box. And then this, I believe, was my first little pet shop ever. Or it was the white cat in the same sculpt. It was the one that came with the fish. And then we have, oh my gosh, I don't have this one. Sorry, the, these cats are, like, really hard to find now, and, like, I love them. Thank you so, so, so much, Tammy. Oh, my goodness. I love little pet shops. These are so exciting. An Angora guinea pig. This cute hamster friend. So, I believe this one now, yeah, is from the, like, 2017-ish time, which are probably my favorite little pet shops they ever did, honestly. I love them so much. They're so underrated. I campaigned for those on TikTok and got so much hate for it because I was just like, hey guys, these aren't that bad. And then people were like really mad. Um, but that happened with Monster High G3 too. Really cute walkables hermit crab. I didn't even know there were walkables hermit crabs to be honest. Like so cute. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to put batteries in this one. And then, oh cute. I love this sculpt. I One of my favorite little sweat shops is this sculpt actually. I think her name was like Angelina or something. Um, but this is another one from that sculpt with a very similar face, actually, but it's a completely different pet. And then this itty bitty little ladybug friend. I think a ladybug. The jury's out on this one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you so, so much, Tammy. There's so many little pet shops in here. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, y'all. I decided to switch the camera angle so that I could show you these in like a more efficient way. So these are the medium-sized pets from the like 2017-ish generation, which again, this is like my favorite generation. And the reason, because I do love the originals, of course, original um, Hasbro's. I did play with the Kenner ones as a kid because my friend had them and I loved them too, um, but I'm not as familiar with them. But anyway, these ones, I just love them because there's so many different pets the color schemes are really nice. I love the way they did the paint. Oh my god, is this a puffer fish? Oh my god! They and like the the sculpts, like there will be like seventeen different cat sculpts. Like they just really did so much, and all of the sculpts are really well done and well polished. It sucks that the people that were so like invested in the nostalgia of the generation one ones which again i super like those and i grew up with them too but it sucks that nobody would give these a chance and they flopped really bad because i assume because of that but also because they weren't promoting these very well and these even had a show um so here's the mediums i think another big blunder with these that was um hasbro's fault i love this one this little caterpillar um a big blunder with these that was hasbro's fault honestly is that most of the pets are these medium ones they didn't do a lot of the actual bobbleheads which was kind of the point of Lilith's Pet Shop for a lot of people, so um, I think that didn't help. Look at this hippo. Are you kidding me? 
Um, so cute. And then we have this bag, which, yeah, sorry this isn't on face cam. I figured like maybe you guys would actually want to see the pets. Um, and I saw these medium ones and I was like, okay, we should turn. Oh my God, a walkables snail. Tammy, you are so sweet. These are so cool. And then we have a little tricycle. Thank you, Tammy. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hi. You are so cute. What the heck? I don't recognize this cat. Oh my goodness. Okay. So cute. So you collect Lola's Pet Shop too. I'd love to see your collection. And then we have Russell. Why am I blinking on their names? I haven't watched the Hub show in a long time. And then what are you? Oh, this is Turtle. Okay. The head was backward. Cute little turtle. So I've never been clear on what the heck animal this is supposed to be. Um, but this guy. And then this little doggy from early hub era. This little kangaroo. I don't believe I have this one. There were several very similar kangaroos. This really cute one. So this, so you can tell what era they're from by either their eyes or their logo. So like this logo I know is hub era. And then this logo is like 2017-ish era. So like the re-reboot. Re-re-reboot. And then this guy, see, I also do not know what animal this is supposed to be either. Um, but very cute. I do have one of these, but not this one. It's like a sweets themed one. And then we have a little ladybug. And this one is, huh, Hub Era again. The Hub Era had some really unique ones because they were like named. All of them had names, by the way, in, in this era. I'm pretty sure they all had names, which is kind of funny. Um, I'm pretty sure someone sued because their name was used on a little pet shop, by the way. Am I making that up? I feel like I read about that. Um, and then we have, oh my gosh, an otter. Cute. So this is the re-reboot, like 2017 era, which is my favorite. This, the sculpts are just amazing. This little bird friend, hub. This one is from 2017. Yeah, really cute. Oh my goodness, little lamb. And then this little... Um, like a jaguar or something. Very, very cute. Or a lioness, I bet. I think this is a lioness. So cute. What are, are you hub? Okay, no logo. What what does that mean? Oh. Is it on her belly? I don't know what era this one's from. She's really cute though. I love her glitter nose. And then we have Oh my gosh, why do you what do you have? A little apple? Cute. Is this 2017-ish then? Wait, okay, so this... No, what are you from? Probably Hub. Very cute. Hub is, by the way, the show, because, like, it was on The Hub, which was the Hasbro network, uh, which was so cool that they had their own network at the time. And then I think this is the last bag of a little touch up. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to put these on display. Um, this gives me much more incentive to make displays for my newer ones, because I didn't have this many newer ones at all. Um, so you've more than doubled my collection of those. This is a really cute one with like the I don't know what to call them other than like lizard eyes but they're so cute look at the cow cow little pet shops are so stinking cute and then this really big one that has like I assume blinking eyes somehow not sure how it works but super super cute and then this little scotty dog with flocking but the flocking's coming off so I might do a deflock on this one sugar sprinkles I have a sugar sprinkles but not this one I love spr sugar sprinkles She's from the Hub Show, and she has her own little um, song. So cute. I love that character. And then I believe this is also a Kenner Little's Pet Shop, but, I mean, it's... Yeah, this one actually says Kenner on it. Okay. But look, he looks like this guy. Right? Oh, the eyes are different. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Kenner had Little's Pet Shop first, and then Hasbro bought Kenner. I think for the rights to Star Wars, probably. I don't know. Um, and then we have this little... Are they mongooses? I'm not sure. I had one of these um, during G3 or whatever. Um, and then a little piggy. This is Sunil from this one of the main characters from the Hub show. Zoe Trent. And I do not have a Zoe Trent in this sculpt. And I'm, I don't think I have a Zoe Trent. I'll have to double check. I, th I, I, I think I do have one, actually. Um, and then an elephant. This little ladybug. I know exactly what three pack this, this one's from, actually. This little hedgie. Oh, another one. A little pink hedgehog. I've never seen this one. Cute. And then what is this? Oh, Kenner. Little pet shop? Probably. Unsure. Something. Very cute. And then little butterfly friend. This little friend. I have a pet in this sculpt. This is a very unusual sculpt for Little's Pet Shop. Even at this time, this was a weird one. Um, there were some very geometric ones. And then again, this bunny that I don't recall the name of. 
think these two are slightly different. Cute. All right, thank you. There's a few more bags, so I'll open them like this. Hope that's okay. So we have this one. It's inside. Oh, are these shoppies? Oh, snap. Okay. So we have a donut shoppie. Shoppies are so cool. You guys have specifically like instructed me on how cool these are. And then we have a poppet from I don't know what line. And then we have, is that an apple? I don't know. This one. And there's this headband too that goes to somebody. Probably this one. So this is that donut girl again, but in a different outfit. I didn't know how many repeat characters they did. And then I think this is um the Choco Mint or Peppa Mint. I don't remember this one's name, but this is like there's an Instagram post from when this doll, like the original one of these came out that I was freaking out over, but I think this is an alternate one. I love this one. Okay, this is my favorite. Sorry to the other, well, Poppet actually, I think is the best one here. She's really cute. Really cute. I love these ones with these little headbands. These are darling. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Tammy, these are so cool. And then there's one more bag here. Let me move this box out of the way. We have one more baggie. And <gasps> my little ponies. Okay, we have, oh, I don't remember this one's name, but this is a super long hair, and I love this one. This is one of my favorites. She's so cute. And then we have a Daisy Joe, which was, I believe, my first My Little Pony. The first picture of me from, like, my fourth birthday in which My Little Ponies are featured is this doll, and that's the year they came out, 2003. So I think this was my first My Little Pony. And then this is one of the Easter ponies in the donkey pose, which is my favorite G3 pose. This pony, I don't believe that I have. This is one of the, like, um, this is one, yeah, no articulated head. This one's really cute. This is not Sapphire Shores. Sapphire Shores had a gem in Gen 3, right? And then this is Skywishes. So, so much, Tammy. I think I just remembered from your note that you had specifically said that those were all doubles for you. So, like, if you would like to share, I would love to see your collection. If you, like, have, you said you don't have, like, a lot of social media, but maybe, like, email. I have an email in my, like, channel bio. I would love to see your collection because if those are all doubles, I cannot imagine what your, like, full collection looks like. Because I have some doubles in my Little Spot Shop collection, but not nearly that many. Uh, <laughs> so I bet your collection's amazing, especially because it spans all the generations. That's so unusual. Um, usually people really stick to, like, one or two generations because Gens 1 through 3 are, like, the same pets. Like, they all go together. Um, <laughs> thank you so, so much, Tammy. I'm so excited to get those all on display in my Little Spot Shop area, especially because I, like, just set it up. So they're all going to get to, like, be fit right into their spots, and that's so exciting. Thank you so, so much. And the last package, and I'm so glad I remembered to go get that package. I would have felt awful because all of my packages were in one place in my house. But this one, because I almost opened it, it was like over there. <laughs> um, anyways, now it's time for our giant box. I might turn the camera for this one. I'm not sure. Um, just depends on how many. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so these are marked one of four. So let's get into here and just see what's going on with these so cut the tape <laughs> okay so, okay so we have a note and it's full of barbaras i'm seeing barbaras okay so it has this really pretty butterfly motif on it I'm sorry the white balance is not working well um and then we have a monarch butterfly cute and then someone's gonna be like that's a painted lady sorry i don't know it's a butterfly or it'll probably tell me i don't know anyway um brooke we want okay should I read that word? It says Brooke. We watch your videos every day and think you and Brett are wonderful. I also love seeing the dolls I have sent you in the past on display. The green geometric Barbie, Novi stars, etc. Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I have a few things that my daughter doesn't play with anymore. Some dolls from the thrift store I thought you might like and some dolls that I am downsizing. Hope you enjoy them. Some need a lot of work and we would love to see a fix it video. Noted. Um, if, they're, if they're these Barbaras, then like I have some restoration coming for those so they can be put in those videos um keep doing what you do you are really great enjoying your videos from sandra and madison by the way this is box one of four yeah at my po box it said that i had one thing to go get and i was like okay so i went to go get it and i wasn't expecting much and then like my the post office lady like brings me this pile and i was like <laughs> it said one i what is going on and it was because they all came from the same person i guess so they all got kind of i got the notification but it was so funny i was like oh my goodness i was not expecting that um thank you so much i've never this is very unusual and, and okay we have okay so please don't make fun of me for not knowing the names of the older barbies or even newer barbies i don't know um <laughs> thank you I'm in Kineklon heaven this video. You guys were like 50,000 subscribers. Kineklon day. <laughs> Are you kidding me? 
Okay, so I think these are from a line that's called like mermaid hair Barbie or something. I know there's a line that's like, or is it jewel mermaid? I don't know. Um, look at these. So we have this beautiful lady with the brown hair. I'm not going to say the name because I almost got a name wrong earlier. <laughs> um, and then this Barbara. I'm dying over the hair. Again, like most people would not consider, sorry, their crowns keep falling off. Um, most people I don't think would consider this like display worthy Kanekalon, but I don't even care that it doesn't look as good as it could. But like, it's the softest substance known to man. I love it. It's so beautiful and soft. And they're little matching mermaid friends. I love them. Oh my goodness. I need to do some research on them. Thank you so much. Oh my god. They're so... It's like Kanekalon day for me. It's I don't actually have that many dolls in my collection that have Kanekalon hair, considering it's my favorite, just because it's more of like an older fiber that was used. It wasn't used as much when I... In the era of dolls that I generally collect. So like... The biggest incentive for me to like move into the 80s and 90s with Barbie is the the Kanekalon takeover. And they have a lot of saran that gets really soft over time too, but Kanekalon specifically is just like, mwah, I love it. Okay, thank you so much, Sandra and Madison. Um, it was Madison, right? I'm sorry, I want to make sure I get your name right. Yeah, Madison. <laughs> sorry. Um, okay, and then we have, who are you? It, she has writing on her. It says Holly? on her so I guess she's holiday themed in some way I don't know fascinating I think that says Holly oh Hollywood I bet it's Hollywood Hollywood hair Barbie question mark is this her where is that lavender dressed beauty sorry I moved a bunch of the dolls so that um they wouldn't get stuff stacked on them so I think the Hollywood hair Barbie has been relocated across the room sorry is this that doll? How funny. This outfit is very fascinating. Sorry, I legitimately- I know it said in that note that Hollywood hair is iconic, but I don't know this one. The the outfit, her hair is so soft. Ooh, man, if I if I was a manufacturer and I had access to Kanekalon hair, every doll would be a hair gimmick. Oh my gosh. And then here we have Totally Hair, one of the characters that's not Barbara. Um, it's so soft! I love it! I'm so sorry. I hope you weren't expecting um, restorations on these because I'm leaving this hair alone. It is perfect. Um, I mean, maybe they'll, they might get like a slight wash, like a like a bit of a conditioning, but like, oh, this is exactly the... It's like so dry and beautiful. I don't know. I just love it. I just love it. Sorry. If you've never held like a lightly used or like just recently cleaned up um, 90s Barbie with Kanekalon hair in your hands, guys. Like, you go to the thrift store, continue looking. If you see one, grab her and just restore her a little bit and you'll just be so... Yeah. It's the best. I don't know. I love it. That's why, like, um, the first doll I ever had as, like, a collector when I was paying attention to this sort of thing, um, that had Kanekalon hair was Spectre from Monster High. And she, I can't believe she's still in good condition because I just carried that doll around the house constantly and just, like, petted her hair. Just, that was... That was her purpose for me. I just loved her. Um, okay. Anyways, next we have what I think is a porcelain. Okay, I might actually give this one to Brett. Hey, baby, come here. Because this is, like, really cool. Because this is, like, a hybrid between, like, a doll and a porcelain figure. And Brett loves Aurora. Yes, ma'am. Do you like this Aurora? I like all Auroras. Look, she looks just like the movie, like the face. Kind of, yeah. yeah, it's really well done and the dress is very pretty. Yeah. It's porcelain, that's why the material's different. Hmm. Yeah. You can you can display her in your I'll fix her up for you. I don't have an Aurora stage. You do, you have your precious moments, Aurora, I got you. Okay. Oh, oh, there's something for you. For me? There was something for you. Where did I put this? For my fifty K special. <laughs> um, well, how many subscribers do you have, Brett? Okay, wait. <laughs> Move some dolls. Where did they go? Oh my goodness. Sorry, I was moving stuff around to make space for other things. Um, because I knew there were more boxes. Oh, here, here, here. Ooh. A little bit teeny. But feel it. Oh, he's squishy. Isn't that amazing? A stress ball Victini. All right, I just... Oh, there she is. Okay, is this Hollywood hair Barbie? Ah, yes. <laughs> Two and one. <laughs> Cool. Okay, let me get everybody out of the way. Enjoy your Victini. I'm squishing it. The P.O. Box videos have provided Brett with many Victinis so far. Like three. 
Um, well, he got like a, a sticker book that had Victini on the front and he really likes Victini. So anyway, <laughs> that that's the Brett cameo of the day. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay. And then, well, he says thank you. And then we have some of these, which are so funny. Huh? <laughs> he says thank you. Um, we have these little, I think these are a bath thing. Oh my God, look at this guy. Um, because I didn't know what these were, but I got those, um, they're already on display in my bathroom, actually. The rainbow fish ones that somebody sent me, they're in my doll bathroom, which you guys will not be seeing for a long time, but, uh, that's where they are. Um, so these can go on display in there too. They're so fun. They're like meant to be bath toys, I guess. I've just never like heard of these before, but I heard of them for the first time with the rainbow fish one, but, oh, they're a Disney store product. Interesting. Thank you. These are cool. Um, and then we have... Is this supposed to be like a Cinderella horse? That's my guess. Cool, he's got like flower hair. Okay, I'm actually not so sure. What is this? Oh, those are little hair extensions. Okay, yeah, it's one of the mouse horses from Cinderella because I see little cheese. Cute! Okay, I don't have a lot of doll horses just because like, I don't, um, I didn't used to have like any space to display anything. Okay, we have a, I'm trying to say, I'm trying to not say poopy because every time I call Poppy poopy, I get comments that are like very hurt about it. <laughs> um, Poppy's dress. And then this, what is going on with this one? <gasps> it's like a Sky Dancer? What? I think this is like a Sky Dancer Cinderella. What is going on with that? And then we have Miss Alexis from Liv. I do not have this one. This, uh, oh my gosh. Prince James from Sophia the First. I love Sophia the First. It's so good. And I don't have any Prince James figures, actually. So this doll um, will not be familiar to a lot of you guys, I don't think, because um, this line was extremely obscure. And I went to Disney, funny enough, the year these came out, I went to Disney World and I could not find them. And I was really mad because I really wanted to get them. And my mom had specifically, because it was my birthday when I went, um, and my dad went for my stepmom, I don't know. Um, but we went there and I really, really wanted to get the Attractionistas and I couldn't find them in like any of the stores there. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um, but anyway, I have no idea what ride this one goes to. But yeah, Attractionistas, they are based off of Disney Parks rides, so you could only get them, I'm pretty sure, at the Disney Parks. Very unusual dolls, but I love them, and yeah, I never got to get them that day, unfortunately. Um, really cool. Look, she has little bloomers on. How cute is that? Thank you. Okay, these are so cool. And then we have Hallmark Mal and Evie from... Des I think this is Descendants 2, but she doesn't have her bangs. No, is this, I think this is one. I'm stupid. This is one. I'm sorry. Evie's outfit is clearly one. Uh, Descendants 1, Mal and Evie. Cute. These are from Hallmark, right? I might be making that up. Yeah, it says Hallmark. Top, off, like, I, I just know. I just know. <laughs> okay. And then this is the Heath doll from the, like, Homic. Oh, it says right here. Homic 2-pack with Abby. And I don't have this one, so yeah, this is my Heath. Thank you. Now I have a heat for display. I am really close to having every single Monster High character now, which is very exciting. Um, that's technically like signature heat because that's the first one and like one of the only ones they did. This is a really pretty Barbie mermaid. Oh my goodness. Sandra and Madison, thank you so much for thinking of me. Oh shoot. An articulated periwinkle. Yeah. Sorry, um, the articulated Disney fairies bodies are like fantabulous, but they, they didn't release a whole lot with them. So if I had to guess, this is probably the pirate fairy periwinkle, um, cause she, there was a, right? Am I crazy? Am I making that up? I feel like there was a pirate fairy periwinkle, even though she wasn't in the movie and she had the articulated body, but there probably also was like a pixie prince or something. I don't remember. Um, anyway, seahorse. I do kind of remember, but I don't want to be wrong. So I'm just going to say that. Okay. And then we have some descendants. Freddy! We have Freddy from the uh, Neon Lights Ball question mark. I do not have her. Cute. I love Freddy because she's Dr. Facilier's daughter, so love that. And then we have, I wish we had gotten a Tiana in uh, Descendants in some way. If we did, it was like a background character or like, in the, uh, maybe there was one in the books. I don't know. Um, we have an Audrey from Neon Lights Ball as well. Neon, I know people like lambast descendants dolls for being terrible but like hear me out for a second maybe not neon lights ball because neon lights ball used like the plasticky material but a lot of the wicked world and the descendants one dolls are actually like phenomenal quality some of them did use polypropylene like this is polypropylene hair this is polypropylene hair but like their sculpts 
on their accessories and their faces and their screenings on their faces and a lot of their outfits are like superb they're like sublime so if you like descendants at all but you've been kind of deterred away from the dolls i recommend taking a second look at specifically to the descendants one dolls two and three they started really decreasing the quality but the reason I always talk about Hasbro being like a really fantastic doll maker is because the Descendants dolls were so solid. They're like fantastic, the original ones. Um, but all of the Descendants dolls have fantastic face sculpts and everything. Okay, we have... Who are you? Sorry. Ah! <laughs> I don't know who this is. We have one of the Mermaid Fantasy Barbie-esque gimmicks here which is my favorite doll gimmick ever to exist. It is so satisfying. Well, I also super like the Disney fairies, um, Disney store dolls that have that little button on the back so you can flop their wings. And I guess my true favorite doll gimmick ever is the Winx Harmonix dolls by Witty Toys, the old Witty ones that have that little thing that you, they flip their wings up and down. So satisfying. But this, this is more natural to play with, I feel like. Like, this is exactly how you would already be holding the doll to begin with. Okay, I have no idea who this is. I guess this is a fairytopia of some sort, but I don't know. But I don't need to know who she is to know that this... Look at that. It... Thank you. <laughs> I'm a child. I love that. And then we have one of the Hair Amazing dolls, which if you're like, wait, that's not a Hair Adorables doll. What's going on? And the Just Play, rebranded to Extreme Play for these for some reason, does budget dolls at Walmart that are fantastic, by the way. And they're hair amazing. They used the hair amazing name again. Probably because they didn't have to pay for another trademark. It makes sense. Um, and then, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that this goes to the 12 Dancing Princesses castle. Maybe. <laughs> if I'm right about that, I'm going to be in absolute shock. I do not know what these are, but we have two little scroll thingies. They have horseshoes on them, so they're probably My Little Pony or Equestria Girls. And then here we have... Music Festival Venus, which is so funny. I have the store display for Music Festival because my dad found it for me, but I didn't have a single Music Festival doll until I found Abby at a thrift store, and she was my only one. Well, I have Claudine, but she doesn't have any of her stuff, so she's in my, like, bait, which, if you don't know what that is, in doll collecting or, like, doll customizing specifically, a bait doll is, like, custom bait or something like that, so, or if you need hands from the doll, you can use them. Her hair is so soft. So Venus is another Monster High character that tends to have connect on hair, which is like, yes. Um, also, I loved this doll when I saw her online because she has like, uh, in her flocking or like her shaved area, she has like designs dyed in, which is so cool. And yeah, so thank you. I, I'm gonna get to put up my music festival display. Well, if I can find a spot, I get to put up my music festival display and display two of the three from that line. Thank you so, so much. Oh my gosh, her hair is crazy soft, by the way. I'm pretty sure this is my second ever Venus doll, by the way. Um, I only have the signature one for whatever reason, so. Um, I also don't even have Claw Venus, so don't even have that one. Okay, the, the ride never stops because we actually have another box to consider. Um, we have box two of four. And I'm gonna open them in order. I put them in order earlier. <laughs> um, thank you so, so much for sending me your doubles and random things you found when you thought of me at thrift stores. I really appreciate it. This is really cool. Okay, this... My first inkling as to what these are is Hopscotch Hill, but I don't know. If I'm right about that, just from looking at the feet, I'm gonna be in shock. Um, oh no, what? Oh my god, these are those Disney... Um, or are they Disney? Hold on. No, they're Teen Trends. I'm... Oh my gosh. Okay. Sorry, there's a Disney line that's very similar to this, I think. Okay, so these are Teen Trends dolls, so I know exactly what these are. I did not know they were these this size. I thought they were smaller than this. So these are, I believe, by Mattel. Yeah, so these are by Mattel in the early 2000s, and I assume they were some sort of competition for, like, American... Did they own American Girl by this point? I don't think so. Um, I don't know what their um, thing was, like, what their reason was, but interesting. I have never held one of these in my hands. So this is... Deandra. Whoa, this is a really cool find. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Okay, so these are fresh and new for my collection. I've never... Wow, I love the outfit. The outfit is superb. Okay, and then there was a little necklace. It says star. It might go to her, but I'm gonna set it aside for now. Oh, I think it does, because look, her pet had a sugar necklace on that matches. Whoa, and then here we have... Oh my goodness, what have we... Is this a... 
I was about to buy this exact thing on Mercari. How funny. Literally today. Like, there was a lot that had this in it, and this was one of the primary reasons I was buying the lot. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, so this is a porcelain, and I normally avoid porcelain stuff just because I'm terrified to break it, but the Disney fairies are the exception because, like, oh my god. Also, I did not know they were this big. No idea. This is a porcelain silver mesh. She needs some cleaning, but she's really nice, and her outfit is all there. And she has a calla lily, which is my mom's favorite flower. Oh my god her face see these porcelain dolls again i'm terrified of breaking them but the reason they're so cool is because like the sculpts are amazing so what company made this i wonder yeah my friend in high school um she she was really sweet like she's she loved like playing with my dolls with me and stuff but she didn't specifically collect them she did have some ever after high that we bought together um but she had a queen clary in one of these oh my god like so cool okay i'm gonna set her here because i'm really scared of like dropping her wow that is a cool doll i mean these teen trends are like really cool too i think that's probably who this is too then yeah these are so pretty like i don't know i just don't know these and the the fact that this comes with the book is crazy really cool okay i'm gonna do a fixing video for these for sure oh look she also has a little necklace Hers doesn't have a charm on it, but she has a little chain necklace. I just can't believe they have their earrings. They they need some cleaning, but they're in really nice condition. It seems like maybe they were just in like a garage for a little while or something. Okay, and then there's some accessories. Did they come with stands? What are these dolls? I need to research more about these because I just have a passing knowledge of these. Like I don't know almost anything about them. In fact, I think my um the doll database group chat, I think they were talking about Teen Trends the other day. So this is kind of um temporally uh appropriate. That was probably the weirdest way I could have put that. Okay, so here's a stand. I really do think this goes to them, but the waist tag might be missing, but I can just use a rubber band. Cool. And then there's a coat, which also is most likely Teen Trends because of the size, and goes to her tracksuit. Oh, that's so cool. All right. And then there's a little hair comb extension thing, which... Do they have saran hair? This doesn't feel like saran, but this does. This is saran, so interesting. I love the little butterfly clips, by the way. Like, how stinking... They're not butterfly butterfly clips, but they're the style of clip, like a butterfly clip. And then we have a little hairbrush. I don't know if this goes to them because it's pretty small, but maybe. And then another little star. So this, this almost certainly goes to them. So we have the star necklace and the star hair tie. Very cute. I assume those go to this one, then. Maybe her name is Star. Oh wait, there's another. So this is Deandra's star goes to Deandra. Deandre or Deandra? Deandra. Um, Deandra's accessories. So it looks like Deandra was like complete, other than maybe a bag, which is really cool. Um, and then wow. Okay, these are so cool and fascinating to me. I'm gonna display these probably near the American Girls because I think they kind of stylistically fit together. They, they remind me a lot of Hopscotch Hill, which I believe did come out around this time. Really cool. Okay, so these, thank you. These are very intriguing. I'm gonna have to do some research about these, get like a video all about them. There's also this really cool box. I wonder if this was just random or if it goes to them too. I don't know. Um, It's not on the manifest, so probably not theirs. Thank you so much. I'm very intrigued. So that was our, I keep trying to call them Hopscotch Hills. That was our Teen Trends box. Wow. Oh, complete with stickers too. Wow. There's like these really cool fashion packs. So I'm thinking that these were meant to be, which is interesting because ordinarily, oh my gosh, Chihuahuas are from Mexico. I wonder if he barks in Spanish. These are so interesting. Oh, you're supposed to decorate the clothing with this. So it looks like they are, they're called teen trends. So I think they're meant to be for kids who have kind of grown out of dolls. That's like the slated demographic. So that's very interesting. So like if you've grown out of Barbies, this is like, oh, well, look, she's fashionable. She has like really cool clothes. That is a really cool doll. I have, I've never seen those in person. I mean, it's possible I've passed them like nude at a thrift store and just not thought much of them, but like really cool. I'm, I know about these dolls, but for some reason I just assumed they were kind of like, I knew they were larger, but I just assumed they were like slightly bigger than a Barbie. I didn't realize they were that big. They're cool. I have to do more research. All right, box three of four. Oh my gosh. A Zelf. Ah! I have been so close to ordering Zelfs because one of my um, mutuals that I've been mutuals with forever, um, <laughs> I think their username is Kira Lise, um, they have been posting their like Zelf wishlist recently and I'm like, resist the urge. 
resist the urge because I did buy Cleo Cat and then I have one other like medium elf, but this is a full size. So this is my first full size elf out of box. I love these. They have like really, really soft hair. I have no idea what the fiber is, but I love it. Love it. I'm going to start putting friends back here. Okay, wait, skip this. I really desperately wish that I had bought Zelfs when they were in stores. I bought, well, I was looking desperately for Cleo Cat, but I never found Cleo Cat. Um, but I was actually looking for Cleo Cat specifically. Oh my goodness. We have the purple pie man and the woman whose name I'm forgetting. And the purple pie man has the mustache, which is very unusual. Uh, when my dad had his uh, toy store, we used to get the purple pie man all the time in lots, like with action figures. Like he was popular with all sorts of kids. Um, also this spoon, I this must go to them. Um, and he almost never had his mustache because it actually comes out pretty easily, I guess. And like, so it's really unusual to see him with his mustache. Wow. So now I have these two. So now my um, strawberry shortcakes can be upset. They can be on edge at all times on display. <laughs> and I'm about to build my strawberry shortcake display. So it works out. Thank you. <laughs> and then there's a Sunset Shimmer who I don't, I don't. Okay, she's almost out of battery. Sorry, I thought maybe I was pressing the button too many times. Um, this is a Sunset Shimmer with some kind of electronic feature. I don't know this one. I didn't know they did more than just a few of the reboot. Reboot, reboot. I don't I don't even know how to refer to My Little Pony G4. There's so much going on. Um, but there's like this is the latest Equestria Girls that they did. Other than if G5 actually comes out, please, G5 Equestria Girls, please manifesting 2023. Let's get them. And then we have Malusha, who also has Connect One Hair. Um, Secret Door. Love this doll because she has like this ever after high-esque screening. She was just such a pretty doll. Um, excited to fix her up. Then we have a Unicorno, a Snow White Dwarf, and a Maleficent Pop Vinyl. And then we have a little refrigerator and a little Shopkins desk, which is probably for like Happy Places, which Happy Places are really cool. This says Neon Lights Ball. So this is a Neon Lights Ball jacket. Thank you for labeling it. Cool. And then, who are you? Whoa. Look at this. This is a Borbra. I've just switched to saying Borbra now. My mom is going to freak out over this doll. This is my mom's exact style. <gasps> Turtleneck dress. You see where I get it from? <laughs> wow. And her face is amazing. I have zero clue who this is because she's not a basics doll. Wow. She's really pretty. Oh my goodness. Maybe like a, there was like a Barbie look-esque line back then, right? Is this, I don't know. Really pretty. Oh my goodness. Wow, I love the dress. I love the dress. Wow. Sandra, y'all are in, or Sandra and Madison, y'all are introducing me to some dolls right now, and it's, like, really cool. It's really exciting. Okay, so we have some more Shopkins. So, Shoppies. We have a lipstick one, potentially. There's a lipstick on the bow. And then we have a strawberry one. Th that is the cutest shoe I've ever seen in my life. This, oh, a Hair Adorables doll. Cute. Is this Sally? Sorry if I'm wrong. I'm not super learned on them right now. Oh my god. This is a Happy Places, I think. Little cinema themed one. A little Shoppies hairbrush. Oh my gosh, the stands are in here. These are the best stands ever, by the way. They're so useful. And then this little baby. Very cute. And then Poppet. This is that same Poppet from the other. Oh, from the other package. Oh my goodness. Okay. Cute. Oh, the strawberry shoe. And there's these shoes too, which probably go to this doll, if I had to guess. Cool. And look at that. That's a nice hair color. I like that hair color a lot. Okay, let's get them back in their little baggie. So the, the Descendants jacket came with. Oh my goodness. Okay. Thank you so much. What are these stand clips? This is an Ever After High Boy stand clip, maybe? And then this is a OMG stand clip, I think? And look, Princess Amber. Princess Sophia. I'm finally going to have Princess... Ooh, I'm going to get these on display. I'm excited. We have a Jack-specific Tinkerbell who probably had a light-up wings. Oh, your hair is so soft. A not enough surprise. Maybe, like, Alice Hops or something. I don't know. A Vidya. And this was one of the, like, budget ones with the plastic outfit, but very, very cute. Spirit Riding Free doll. Which I... These were actually really nice quality dolls. They're really cool. I think they're kind of still in stores, but not those versions. A Budget Equestria Girl. Amethyst Ray with all of her stuff. Yeah. So now my other one can be freed. And oh, her tattoos are in much better shape than mine too. Okay, she's awesome. She smells very interesting. 
And then we have a Frozen Fever mini Elsa who needs some help. We have Rosetta. So it seems like Rosetta and Vidya were from the same set, whatever set it may be. Spirit Writing Free Doll. So I think this is the main character from that show, right? Um, and then that's another one. And then we have some little pet shops. So we have a little piggy, which I think was in the last box, this exact one. A little white bunny. This turtle, who I do not have, which the sideways diamonds are an unusual eye pattern. And then this little squirrel, who I don't think I have. There's quite a few gray squirrels. Um, this is a Bright Fairy Friends doll. Oh, they do light up. I figured they did because they're called Bright Fairy Friends. Cool. These are very intriguing to me. I feel like these don't get a lot of um, attention from the doll community at large. And then, is this a baby Lala Loopsy? What is this? Look how cute this little sucker is. Oh my gosh. Little stinker. <laughs> and then we have Silver Mist. Oh my gosh, she has a haircut. Okay. These will be fun. This would be a fun one to test out, like, customizing on for a Disney fairy. Because um, the sculpts are beautiful on those dolls. A live wig. I don't have this one actually. I have the purple one that's similar to this because it's connect one, um, but not with the black streaks. So this one's very unusual. I don't know this one. And then we have a little, one of those little Disney World um, McDonald's toys or whatever restaurant this would have been. And this is Jacques. And then what is going on with this pony? Oh, okay, so there's, I think this is this Twilight, this back card here. Yeah, Cutie Mark Magic Twilight. Okay, I saw this and that's why I was confused. There's the Pony Pop um, information on there, which I miss those create your own doll gimmicks, which there's a rumor that there's a rainbow high one coming soon. I hope that that's true because that sounds so cool. Um, and then we have another one. This is a Coco one. That's a Pixar one specifically. And then whose shirt is this? It says LOL and it's a cat. This is really cute. And then I just don't know because the size is unusual. Like if this is modern, especially, I have no idea. Huh. It's even got like a really uneven, like, not uneven on accident, but like a really cool, interesting, I don't know this. Little tiny Discord pop vinyl and his little wing broke, but we can glue it back on. And then a mini version of, I don't know who, but she is cute. And then a little mermaid one. I love that. And then we have an Ever After High Storybook of Legends set, which needs some, needs some cleaning for sure. Um, and also we have to find a way to get ourselves in there because we don't have the key, uh, but cool. I love that it has a little mirror. And that, by the way, that's Brooke Page. Like the only doll character ever to have the name Brooke. It is so exceedingly rare. There's like one horse from like this, like pretty, I don't remember what the line is called. Oh, and there's Princess Charm School pieces. <laughs> I have the doll that these go to, but I don't think I have the, the pieces for I mean, I don't know if they are all the same or not, but um, I have Delance. I don't know if her name was Delancey in that movie. The the one with the purple dress, the the villain. Um, I have her, but I don't have the little plastic parts. So this would be really nice to sub in for those on her. Um, and then where was I? I don't remember. So we're going to lose it. <laughs> all right. And then there is one more box and this one is enormous. So I was actually really worried because of... <laughs> The boxes. I had noticed boxes one through three, but it said of four, and I wasn't sure what the other one was because I wasn't looking at this mop box because I just figured that this wasn't correlating because it had a different like box style. I don't know. So I was kind of like worried, but then I figured it out. So here we are. We've got box four of four here. Let me this is up and down. So oh my goodness. This is my little ponies. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Sandra and Madison, you guys are so thoughtful. Thank you so much for thinking of me while you were thrifting and when you were um, downsizing. This is really like a lot and I really appreciate it. And thank you so, so much for like just supporting my channel. Just like, okay, um, I'll, I'll save this stuff for the end. So we have some fashion style later release, um, My Little Pony G4s. So we have a Princess Twilight. We have a Fluttershy. So these ones were from Multipacks, and I believe they were sold at Ollie's while I worked there. Specifically this set, and I never bought it, and I was always kicking myself for it. If these are from the Multipack, I don't 100%. I mean, I don't know for sure. This is interesting, because I have the Pinkie Pie in this size, the glittery one, and I thought that that size was only for that Pinkie, so I'm actually very surprised. So these will display really cute next to her. Uh, so we have Rainbow Dash, Sea Pony. For some reason, I didn't buy the Sea Ponies. I mean, I was kind of mad that Sea Ponies weren't, like, 
they implied that sea ponies weren't actually a thing and they were just the hippogriffs. I mean, they literally said that the sea ponies you meet in the movie are hippogriffs, which I was like, we've been waiting for sea ponies for how long and you finally give it to us and they're not even, that they're hiding. They're not even sea ponies. I don't know, because um, I love sea ponies. But anyway, here's Applejack. I love that the hair tie is painted on. That is so funny. Um, onto her fin. And we have a Princess Luna. We have a Pinkie Pie. And I love that these have inside eyes on the sea pony ones. They're so cute. And then a sea pony rarity. A sea pony twilight. Sea pony fluttershy, who I think looks the best as a sea pony. I think she's really cute. And then we have the rest of the set here. Oh, the eyes are like more detailed. Really cute. I think these are probably movie related. So we have rarity, Applejack. Oop, her hair is stuck on something. Celestia. Pinkie Pie. Cadence and Rainbow Dash from this set. Oh my gosh. And then we have, oh my God. One of the few Brooks in doll related media. My Little Pony counts to me. They're dolls, they're pony dolls. That's Meadowbrook. Ah! So this is My Little Pony Hide and Seek. I had some My Little Pony books as a kid, but I've never had one of like a cardboard one. Is Are her eyes supposed to be like that? Oh my gosh, okay. I'll read to you guys. Like I did when I worked as a princess. <laughs> my princess job, I miss that. Okay, and then we have, oh. Well, this would be perfect to read on a princess job. This is the princess essential guide. Oh my gosh. So this only has, so this is early Disney princess because we've got Snow White, Cinderella, Aurora, Jasmine, Belle, Ariel. Well, not early enough that Esmeralda is included because Esmeralda and Megara and Tinkerbell were originally, wait, I think Megara wasn't. I think it was Esmeralda and Tinkerbell that were originally included. This is 2003. Wow. Oh, this is so cute. It's like one of those like I would oh, this is really funny it's like one of those eyewitness like encyclopedia type books because it has like her long silky hair is the color of chocolate what <laughs> okay yeah it's by DK so Discovery Kids I assume cool okay this is hilarious I cannot wait to read this it's also cute but I like that her long silky hair is the color of chocolate you could say it's brown hair it would be fine it would be acceptable to say that <laughs> okay and then we have the large talking, like accurately colored Princess Celestia. I have the pink one of these, so wow. And I have Cadence too. Cute. These are so cute. And this one is turned off or doesn't work, which is fine. Cause that pink one, when she was, now she's on display, but when she was in the bin, she would scare the crap out of me all the time. Cause she would just randomly go off. Okay, and then there's this really pretty Luna who I don't know. It's an official plushie. It's an Aurora plushie. I have no idea. I've never seen this style before. This is beautiful. G4 plushies took a while to uh, look right. There were some really peculiar looking ones at first. <laughs> okay, this is a really cute little Luna. And then we have... Oh, this is... um. God, I don't remember what this line was called. It was like for the, for the app. Um, but this is the Celestia from that. I do not have this one. And I have a whole display just for princesses right now, so... I'll go together. <laughs> and then we have... I have not watched very far in G4 for context. I think I stopped around season four. Who is this? She's got to be important in some capacity because otherwise they would not have made a fashion style. I'm sorry. I have no idea who this is. I really want to re-watch re re the parts of G4 that I've already watched and then watch the rest with Brett. But um, right now we're watching Pokemon Journeys. So we are, we're, we're in for a while. <laughs> um, and then we have, I think these are the accessories to this castle, which is the reason this box is so big is that there is a big old castle in here of um, which wow okay i do not it's huge okay i don't know what castle this is but i'm gonna have to look up an instructional video to build this i fear um but this is really cool this will be a really cool display piece i think wow okay i'll put that right up top on the display possibly it depends if it'll fit i'm worried it might be too tall this is cool well thank you so much okay <laughs> I also love this is just cute it says madison on there because they were probably her toys that's really sweet Alrighty, so that is it for this video and huge thank you to sandra and madison for sending uh this big crazy multi-boxed situation of dolls and ponies i really appreciate it and i'm really excited to get them all inaugurated into the collection the ponies in and little pet shops in this video in particular are extra exciting and strawberry shortcake because i just set up that display so it'll be really exciting to get them right in there. Um, 
and to you guys for watching um now for the for the closing part of this video thank you guys so so much for watching and for supporting this channel when i started this channel it was october of 2011 and this wasn't even my first youtube channel so i was 12 years old when i started this youtube channel i'm 23 now turning 24 in july um and i had started channels before my first one was in like 2009 i think um and i always wanted to do youtube i just thought it was so fun i saw like other channels and you know i i wasn't into toy channels originally i was super into little pet shop movies actually that was my goal that was my dream was to make little pet shop movies and i think my one of my old channels is still up where i can see the bio and i'm pretty sure i have like a thousand subscribers as my like ultimate like holy grail goal that i thought i would never reach and um you know that i made when i was like 12. uh so it's really actually that was earlier because that channel was before x canada so, so that would be like 10 11 years old um and it's just hard to imagine and this channel has ended up growing so fast because i've just put so much time and work and energy into this and i've been working on this channel for 10 years i've been uploading basically once a week for 10 years uh there were a few times like there was a time when youtube basically almost took my entire channel away and i couldn't really do much on it so i stopped uploading around that time but other than that i've consistently been uploading for like a week every 10 years or once a week every 10 years at least i usually did like two or three times a week though and um it's literally cataloged my entire toy collecting journey unfortunately a lot of the videos are gone now because youtube forced me to delete them that was the way for me to get my channel back was deleting all those videos which was a huge shame um because i've grown up on youtube you know i've um i had just moved to a new place and i didn't know how to process that and my parents had gotten divorced and um, just a lot of big changes were happening in my life and I kind of really anchored on to doing YouTube and at first when I started my channel I wasn't a toy collector yet actually I was doing like comedy skits they were so stupid um, like my first video was my brother eating a sandwich and then I just reversed it and that was the joke <laughs> um, and then like I did some like I did uh, one of my original videos too was um, it's really cute because my I still have access to all these videos I, I saved a lot of them not all all of them but a lot of them I saved um, I got these like exercise yoga balls like those big ones and I did like wipe out in my living room with those which is like a show where I don't know um, just like that was the original purpose of this channel I just wanted to do this because um, I was very very lonely and um, I don't know I just wanted to connect with people and even though I was basically talking to myself I was talking to myself at home anyway but I just really liked publishing stuff online I thought it was so much fun and um, to be sitting here right now in the position that I'm in where I'm getting and like them I started collecting dolls and I was watching other channels that were doing doll videos and I just thought like that was the coolest thing in the world and I wanted to be that so bad and it's like really surreal and weird and crazy to be there now you know and I, I'm not so like I don't know <laughs> conceited that I think like yeah I'm the doll channel I did it I'm the best but it's just one of those things where I never foresaw having an audience at all you know when I started if I got like one comment on a video in like 20 views I was like jump bouncing off the walls I thought that was the coolest thing ever and it still is the the idea that I could just post myself like talking to myself in my bedroom as a 12 year old and other people who were also Get a lot of creepy comments too unfortunately but uh, a lot of or some very slowly um like-minded people who were interested in similar stuff as me or just like wanted to watch videos about dolls and stuff would check in and comment and then i started posting to instagram and i just slowly started to like it, it was very slow at first um because i was not consistent i just uploaded whatever like it would be like winx video pony 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 video about rocks question mark random tag videos that i was not tagged in i just wanted to do um pokemon like just totally random um and i'm really grateful that now uh, because i've built the channel to this level that it's at i can kind of do more random stuff now um if i wanted to post a video about pokemon i probably would um because i feel it would probably be on tiktok honestly um but youtube punishes you if you have varied content unfortunately <laughs> um just because the viewers i mean you guys didn't subscribe for pokemon but i digress um it's just in 2020 when i got my channel back finally after like two years of fighting for it i would weekly have to send emails begging youtube to give me my channel back and they just wouldn't because they were convinced i was under 13 years old it's so ridiculous um and i thought that i had lost all that i'd worked for and back then it was a big deal to me i had i think like 3,000 subscribers maybe but i had worked so hard for those i had 
had the channel for so long, you know, I didn't want to give it up. Um, and I fought for two years to get it back. And in 2020, I got it back. And it was my birthday that year, actually, that I got it back. It was my 21st birthday. I was literally, I think I, I had sent a message just completely flabbergasted. Like, my 21st birthday is in a week. And you guys are still not giving my channel back because you think I'm 13 years old. What do I do? Like, and I just got the right agent that time and he fixed it quick. He was like, um, because of our policies of not showing people under the age of 13 or under the age of 18, even though it's not 18, it's 13. But he was like, if you delete every video from when you were under 18, you can have your channel back. And I did it and I got it back. And the reason that this was so frustrating was not only that they were wrongfully applying the rules to me, but they weren't even applying the rules to other toy channels who were actively breaking the law. I was 20 years old. I was 19 years old when this first hit me, and I turned 21 when I finally got my channel back. I fought for two years to get my channel back, while channels that legitimately primarily feature minors, legitimately primarily feature one of the biggest channels, probably one, like, one of the biggest toy channels, and definitely one of the biggest collector-oriented toy channels, featured her child on the channel the whole time um her like <laughs> and that channel to this day is one of the largest channels and I love that channel don't get me wrong but it was just really frustrating to see the rules be applied so inconsistently and that's kind of how things have been for me my whole life you know it's just like very frustrating so this was just a culmination of things so that's why to me getting my channel back was so significant because I fought so hard to get it back and finally like it paid off and it was like, okay, this is my chance and I'm not going to blow it. I'm going to continue making the videos that I like, but I'm going to elevate them and I'm going to do everything I can to make a name for myself. Anyway, back to the actual thing that I was um, saying. And ever since that day, I was like, I just got a second chance. I had lost this hobby that I loved so much because even though like my, my channel has been monetized since like 2012, but you know, I wasn't making money really. I would make like a hundred dollars every couple of years and I would be like, whoa. <laughs> um, but I got my channel back and I was like, I never thought that I would get it back. I thought it was over forever. And I was like, I'm going to make this, I'm going to make this happen. Like I'm going to really, and it was the perfect storm, right? Cause Rainbow High came out around that same time. Um, I was posting a little OMG videos right before I got my channel fully back. Like there was just a lot of really exciting stuff going on in the doll world. So this like renaissance of dolls that's happening right now happened, like coincided with when I got my channel back. And ever since then I have, ever since October of 2020 I believe I have posted almost every single day uh <laughs> and I just made that goal for myself I was like you know what I'm not gonna keep playing games and just hoping something sticks I'm gonna like really dedicate to this I'm gonna increase my quality I'm gonna try harder I'm gonna edit my videos I'm gonna fix the lighting and I I worked really hard but I really wanted to make sure that the purpose of my channel still remained and the purpose of my channel like the reason the thing that I like in videos that I feel like has been largely absent for especially from this community as it's become more commercialized because you know people want to get PR and people want to get corporate opportunities and stuff so you have to make your videos very corporate to get there um and if I have to sacrifice doing what I love and making the videos that I like to do and have to fake it um which I didn't want to do it so I decided I was going to do it my way I was going to make videos that made me happy that I enjoyed and the fact that that's been successful um when i'm i mean my whole life i've been a very like loud i constantly just called annoying and people don't get it and all the things that i do and i was never really like viciously bullied or anything but you know i just never fully fit in and i never in my life would sacrifice who i was and what i liked and i'm always very loud and outspoken about what i like um but there was a point in time where when i first moved especially where i was just so shut in and quiet and kind of I didn't know what to do because it was a new environment. You know, these people didn't know me since I was like first in school, right? So it's harder to be accepted in that sort of space. And I didn't really care that much because I'm pretty self-reliant and I have my little YouTube channel so I could talk about dolls at home, you know, but someone like me who doesn't fit in at all, um, being able to amass an audience like this and being able to go to these corporate events and getting to meet the designers that make these things that I love and getting to go to things like the Monster High movie premiere and having flying across the country to visit my friends that I made online it's like I never thought it would happen and I know this is just a number you know it's just some arbitrary number that we've reached 50,000 you know it's no different than when we were at 40,000 it's just a larger number now you know or when we were at 49,000 you know but it's just like a tangible goal you can look at, you know, like I'm halfway to when YouTube views you as like 
you made it. You know, when you get to 100k, you get this plaque. And they started doing that back in like, I don't know, 2014. I don't remember when they started doing that. But I was like, oh my god, I would never get there. But I would die to have that, you know. And I'm halfway there. <laughs> And it's just really cool to see. And there's been a lot of nonsense, right? Like there's been- All right, so I get pretty frustrated in this part. So I'm cutting it and I'm going to put this there. Um, <laughs> basically, uh, throughout my tenure on YouTube, especially in the past two years, as I've been working really hard to build my platform and uploading more and trying really, really hard, um, there's been instances where not only was my content directly stolen and included in other people's videos, other already large platforms, um, one of the largest in the toy collecting space, in fact I would say as an adult collecting channel, the largest, um, multiple times stole my content, called me ugly when I said I didn't like it, um, just ridiculous things like that, and just consistently I've been being stepped on and um, I've had other people pretend to be my friend and then try to sabotage PR opportunities. I'm not kidding. With Mermaids Mermaids, um, I just I just want to give some context. Um, with Mermaids Mermaids, there was somebody who I thought was my friend. And unfortunately, I publicly talked about how I thought this person was a real, it, like, nice, cool person. And I sincerely regret that. But this person legitimately went out of his way to convince me to post my Mermaids Mermaids review before the embargo was lifted, which could have gotten my YouTube channel taken down fully. Uh, it could have completely sabotaged my- any time I could have worked with MGA, it would have completely sabotaged that. Um, and he told me that if I had posted, he would have posted too, because he wanted to stand up for the little guy. Because this was my first big PR opportunity. And last second he pulled out after I had already posted. Uh, so I just want to give context that things like this have been happening this entire time behind the scenes and it's been so demoralizing and frustrating because I have gone out of my way to build this platform without stepping on people because there's no reason to. There's plenty of space for everybody in this, in this space and it just, it just sucks. It really, it just sucks and it's really hard to find real people and I've been really really fortunate to find people like Angel and Dom from Lookin' Brats and um so many wonderful friends that I've made in the doll community who I really feel are real and are here for the right reasons they're not just I I just I really appreciate it it's really really special and it's very very frustrating to work so hard on something and have so much passion for something and truly truly love it and then get passed up on opportunities every single time. And it's not all about opportunities, you know. I'm so grateful and lucky to have every gotten every opportunity that I have too. But I honestly don't like to say the word lucky either because I've worked so hard for it. And I have the numbers that predispose me to be able to. And it's very frustrating to be passed up for opportunities for a reason that must be because of me and who I am. And that something about who I am is a problem to these people. I don't know. And I'm sorry to include this in this video because this is a really happy video and this is a really happy moment for me, but the reason I mention this and get so frustrated is because I just never saw myself getting here, not only because it just felt impossible, but because I just never thought that I could do that sort of thing. No matter how hard I worked, I felt like it just wasn't going to happen for me. Um, and I worked so hard and I wanted to prove that wrong and I, we did it, you know? And it's all thanks to you guys for um because again i think i said this earlier in the video at some point i don't know um but if nobody wanted to see my content and nobody liked it then there we go but this is the specific type of content that i like to watch i don't like super corporate phony feeling content that's just made to make a quick buck um i want it to be more than that i guess and i know i'm just making videos about dolls and it's not that serious but i mean it is though right in some way and if it for somebody is special then that's that's it you know um I don't know it's just I really appreciate everything involved with this and I thank you <laughs> uh that, that that's that close no more <laughs> negative town um it's just um last year some like some things happened like I talked about and there's more there's so much more that I just, I really was at that point where I was like, I don't know if I can continue. My sanity will not allow me. Like, I'm about to lose my mind. Um, but I'm really glad that I've continued. There's been so many times where I've been like, I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> um, but 
I I always come back because I really really appreciate um, being able to chat with you guys and seeing the comments and there's always going to be negative aspects to this sort of thing but the positives are so overwhelming that it makes it worth it and thank you. I'm stressing myself out a lot I'm not gonna lie to you but I'm working so hard to get to that point where I don't have to stress out anymore and I've made it and I, I get to do all these things and I'm almost there I'm so close. And it's just really cool. 50,000, like, that means 50,000 real individual people watched my content and decided to click the subscribe button. Like, not only did they see the video and click away immediately because they were like, this weird, this weird girl. But at some point in time, they were like, I like this. I want to see more. And I don't know. It's just really surreal. And I want you guys to know truly that I don't take it for granted. I know this is a video where I just, like, opened a bunch of presents you guys sent me, which is such a strange... Thing, um to like picture um and it's just so it's just so special and I want you guys to know that I don't take this for granted like it's so special to me and it means so much to me and I I don't know what to say other than like thank you thank you for giving me the space to as I'm very fortunate to have my dad as a toy collector my mom is very very supportive and also collects things and supports my collection and my fiance is also a collector and I have so many online friends that I can talk to about dolls and I'm so fortunate in that um but I am just so lucky even though I've built this you know I've worked so hard on this but I'm so lucky to have found people like you guys who talk to me you comment on my videos even just viewing my videos and just it means so much to me and I just want you to know that like thank you <laughs> that's all I can really say that's the most I can say is thank you so much and with that <laughs> thank you guys so so much for watching and thank you so much for being here and supporting me whether you've been here for a day or whether you've been here for seven years or ten years and I know some of you have actually I recognize some of you in the comments sometimes and it and thank you thank you so much I don't I don't know what to say um and hopefully this year will be another amazing year for um me and my channel and producing cool content for you guys and new stuff and um I mean next month I have something really exciting to share with you guys so yeah stay tuned and for all this time for all this time thank you guys so so much for watching and thank you for being here if you sent something today I truly appreciate it so much you guys are so so wonderful and kind for doing this um when when I opened the PO box it was kind of just like a couple of people had asked if they could send me something and I was like if you super want to um I would appreciate it but uh, you don't have to you know I would feel bad if I kind of incentivized you to do so but um if you super want to that's totally fine and I never thought like so many people would be like I was at the thrift store and I saw this and I knew you were looking for it or like I thought Brett would like this Victini squishy that I found. Like, y'all are just so, it's so sweet and thoughtful and it means so much to me. And yeah, that's it for real this time. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. And for the biggest thing, just thank you for making me feel normal. And I know it's so funny because you guys tell me that that's the function that these videos have for you. But truly, I'm 23 years old and, you know, it's kind of like, it's still weird, you know, but um, I don't really care, but it's just really, really special to not only just have my hobby that I'm participating in alone, and maybe I'm not secret about it, but I actually have, like, meaningful connections that I can make, and I can chat with other people about it, and get, like, other people's input, and hear other people's, like, takes on doll. It's just, it's really special. Doll collecting is such an inherently, like, private hobby and it always has been I guess but um it's really really special to be able to connect with people and I have a really hard time connecting with people in real life especially lately um like in the past five years and um YouTube has gotten me through just having a YouTube channel that I could post on and just have an outlet where I get to escape from whatever nightmare situation I'm in in my personal life because I've gone through a lot of really hard stuff um just in my like personal life I guess um being able to, I mean, there, some of the lowest points in my life, being able to go home and just film a YouTube video about some nonsense. Um, I mean, you know, it's not nonsense, but you know, like, just clinging to the idea that I have friends online who want to hear from me um, really helped me through some really, really, really bad times in my life. And um, I mean, with the time when my channel was gone was one of the darkest times because I just loved this so, so, so much. And I, 
I don't know I just I appreciate it so much and thank you for giving me an outlet to um explore my creativity and my passion for the for dolls and I know I know it's toys and dolls but it just it's something that's really special to me and thank you okay for real for real this time there's just a lot I want to say but at the same time I feel like I don't know what to say I'm like lost for words I guess yeah bye